This is Jonah Hill, and you're listening to the only podcast that matters. Before we get started with our groovy guest from the West Coast, Lawrence. Let's keep these motherfucking lights on. Everyone listening at home in the Thrill Gang is already familiar with our friends at Merrill's best in class Moab hiking boots and the slippery, slimy Hydro Mox. But, but James and I are here today to preach the gospel of the illustrious and, dare I say, underrated Jungle Mock, our new favorite fall footwear. <laughs> That's me in the jungle. <laughs> I know you've With seen our box, baby. <laughs> I know you've seen our boy Oscar Isaac going fucking viral in his professor core fits and this idea of dressing for the female gaze. Well, you know what? Look no further than Merrill's iconic jungle mock what color way did you get um i went with the dark earth which is like a tobacco uh, mm, tobacco wacky so tobacco perfectly with my engineer garments fatigues that everybody's always asking about yeah there's a fit check at the end of the episode. <laughs> and my arlagache dad jean stonewashed denim uh what about you I went with the crispy, clean oyster. Uh, kind of re- reminds me of like something like a little bit like chef wear, a little nurse core well, on yo, top of all the professor shit we already mentioned. Not only do these work in the fucking jungle when you're swinging vine to vine with Tarzan <laughs> himself, but my boy Oliver at Bernie's. Shout out Oliver. Shout out Bernie's. Uh, favorite restaurant of the podcast. Mm-hmm. He swears by Jungle Box. He's on his feet all day just turning yeah. away fucking philistines and and just lowly surfs at the door mm. unlike two podcast hosts that can cut the line anytime they want yeah this is uh this is form meets function um it is our favorite new shoe for fall get your pair today as a note uh if you're in between sizes you want to size up on the jungle mocks and again thank you to our friends at merrill for powering the only podcast that matters be like jimmy be like larry be like a tasteful ass motherfucker be as handsome as Oscar Isaac, I mean, minus the movie star, good looks and the jaw, the jawline. Yeah. And oh, my God, that that hair. I just want to run my fingers through it. Just like, lion's mane, like king of the jungle. Just like I want to run my fingers over a very tactile pair of suede jungle mocks. Get your pair right now. Shop all things jungle mocks right now on Merrill dot com. Merrill, a better way to hike, bitch. <laughs> Bro gang, we are joined by the Sultan of Sauce. Fuck clout, he's a cloud chaser. The gourmet god, got the game on Golden Lock. The imam of Strong Island. The millimeter maestro. The juso is luso. The titan of truffles. The king of cold cuts. The prince of parm. The deli don dada. The earl of sandwich. Hey, hey, you, you get off of his cloud. The Italian stallion sipping wine by the galleon. Star of Oscar winning film. Drinks whiskey with wolves. Ow, ow, ow! Pharaoh of the fairway, a.k.a. John Daly. The governor of Gabagool, designer and entrepreneur, John Buscemi. John, how the hell are you? I got to take a breath. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. You're welcome. I love you guys. That Thank you for having me, First of all, I can't believe I'm, I'm, I'm I mean, I, you know, I don't listen Here you to are. shit. You're a fan. You're a fan. I'm a fan. <laughs> well, I'm we don't a have fan you. sitting in the, I'm a, like a fanboy sitting in the chair. And, and we don't have fans. We have family. Yeah. So thank you, you so much for hosting us in your office. Your family. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> John, you were talking about how you have a, a face for radio and you were excited that we weren't doing video because you no, said no. you didn't have no, a no, fit no. on. No, no. I have a, I have a body for radio. A body for radio. I have a face for, I mean, come on. Look at <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anything. Right. Excuse me. <laughs> but the first thing we want to do, John, is we want to do a little fit check. You're going to walk the audience at home through the totality of your outfit today. The choice for you is you want to start top down or bottom up. Uh, I'll start from the uh, I'll start from the top down. No, oh, oh, wrong answer, dude. You're a fucking cop. If you go yeah. top down, you're a police officer. Are you a cop? <laughs> if you're a cop, you have to tell us. That's the law. Cop. Okay. All right. But anyway, let's go top down. No, no, we'll go. We'll go. We'll, we'll go bottom up. So I'd switch it okay. up. Bottom up. All right. Sure. Okay. <laughs> I'm wearing New Balance by uh, Ame Leon Dore. Am I mm. saying that correctly? Heard of the door? Door? I think. Ame Leon Dore. You don't, don't see know. a lot of these in LA. <laughs> like, you see these like every fucking time you, you turn yeah. your head. You it's see like the New most York, popular shoe them. in downtown New York right Is now. Is it? Uh-huh. Yeah. 100%. Well, I'm, I'm lucky enough to know uh, Teddy and Joe mm-hmm. and the guys, and, the, and they sent Paulie and I a couple of these. So, uh, shout out on to the free, shout out to the Flow free team. shoes. Shout out to the flow team. Do you uh, reciprocate? Queens. You send them free shit? Absolutely. And obviously, you know, 
um, their family. I've, I mean, I've known Teddy like for a long time. And shout that, out Ted, kids, shout kids. out Joe Bavasso, shout out all the homies at ALD, Rockaway Joe, we call him. Yeah, <laughs> beautiful man, professional model. He is now. one of the most beautiful men around. He has a face and a body for TV, lookbooks, etc. Oh, he has a. Oh, that man! Talk about uh, Joe. That body. (laughs) (laughs) All right, moving on. Joe, get that potty on the pod. Are you going sockless? No socks. Is that? Do you typically do that? I wear uh, peds most more more often than not. But I was wearing Lusos in my last interview today. I had a another interview this morning. Fuck that. With who? Who are they? (laughs) Who is she? It was an internal interview for an uh, internal project. Okay. Okay. (laughs) So this is the main event. This is this is outward. That was a warm up. That was a warm up. Yeah, yeah. Warm up. Getting some shots um, up in the gym. I usually wear peds, um, okay. usually from Foot Joy. Okay. If you know the brand? No, I'm not familiar. Is that like... Uh, it's a golf shoe brand. Oh, okay. And they make these... Peds are usually hard because they're usually for chicks. What? Wait, What? you keep saying pet. What is a pet? A ped's like a no-show. Like a no-show oh, right? no-show. Yeah. Got With it. Toe, it almost has toe cleavage. Oh, nice. Perfect but, for but your tabbies. I don't want those. <laughs> I don't want those tabbies. <laughs> I actually have a funny tabby story. But um, you can tell it. You're on a podcast. <laughs> we'll tell it. In okay, a okay, okay. Uh, these don't have uh, toe cleavage, so you know. Got it. Those so the, the piggies are the piggies are yeah, cuddling right those, now. Yeah, yeah. Pigs in a blanket. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, shorts. Shorts. These are Ralph Lauren mm. chambray shorts. Not the not the right length as you know. It's not. A oh, I mean, we're not gonna. We're, we're not, not here on to the judge. seven inch tip. I'm too big for the seven inch. What is the inch? You might see a little bit too much like fucking cup of coal. <laughs> too much gobble ghoul. Yeah. Too much gobble ghoul on the on the, <laughs> in the on the inner thigh. He's gobbled his last you know gobble I mean? ghoul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's too much lardo. <laughs> is it a, is that blue label Ralph or is it uh This is a blue label Ralph, you know, just pol- polo Ralph Lauren, mm-hmm. you know. Is Goat? Ralph in your Mount Rushmore brands and designers? Oh, yeah, absolutely. He's up there. He's top four. He's top four. He's top. Top two. He's top two and an eight two. He's top. He's top three. Really? He's top three. Who's top number three. one? Yeah. You? <laughs> yeah. Yourself. I'm number one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Cool. <laughs> um, I mean, that now that I don't know. I can. I you like you because you're them? humble, dude. I mean, there's a lot of people that I've enjoyed. You know, the the the. I've enjoyed people's your you peers. Know. These are your I've peers. En- I've enjoyed my peers work. You know, <laughs> Adam Kimmel's. A, a, oh, dude. He's a. Yeah, who actually shout out the chief creative officer yeah. of WeWork. We are not in a WeWork right now. <laughs> yeah. right now. Is he the? Is yeah, he that's what he does now. Unless he got fired, because you know WeWork there. has been having some issues. Oh yeah, but I think that, I think he's still there. Right. Don't quote me on that though. Um, we have a mutual friend, and he also golfs. So I've been dying to go oh, get a round of golf with him. When you play a round of golf with someone like that, who's like also in the fashion space, are you like, y'all got to beat this fool's ass on the course? Like, no, that- I, you know the comp. The, when it's funny that you mentioned that, I usually competitive with my boys. Mm-hmm. But when it comes to like a new friend or a guest, it's really you more about win. just like walking around. <laughs> let them win. No. Yeah. But he's a stick. I heard he's really good. Oh, nice. Another like, uh, I don't know if you know who Andrew Rosen is. Yeah, of course. Legend. So, legend Andrew Rosen. Mm-hmm. You know, he's another person I look up to. I don't think he's necessarily a designer. He's more like fashion businessman, like uh-huh. tycoon. Guy. Yeah, for sure. Master puppeteer. Is there it's like funny. a street I've been trying where... to play golf. Like there's these weird people throughout my life that I've been idolizing like. Lior Cohen, who I'm actually oh, friends bro. with now. Oh, really? Have you played with him? I haven't played with him, but he's like one of the best golfers around. Really? He's also a member at one of these sick clubs in Hamptons. Oh, well, yeah. He's, he's also rich. the club champion yeah. of his club. Oh, we're, oh, he's dirty. Like, he's dirty good. Yeah. Is there like a streetwear to like guys in their 40s golf pipeline? <laughs> yeah, what, that's what like I mean. It, right? Yes, there is that pipeline. So just and like, hip hop. Is it because of all the gear and like, you know, like the nerdiness that you can get into when you golf? Is that I like part that, of the like, appeal? Yeah, I think absolutely. Like the outfit comes a part of the is a part of the fucking mission. What are your thoughts you know on I mean? the Macklemore golf brand? <laughs> yeah. And, oh, okay. <laughs> that's a, what that's is it called? Like Bogey Boys that's or some non-cipher. shit? Yeah. Bogey Boys? <laughs> some shit. I yeah, I think it's, bo- I think it's Bogey Boys. Is it really? Boys. Yo, also, Let's Macklemore is a fucking First fan of-, of the show. Shout out Macklemore. Sure. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. Shout out to Macklemore and, and, and enough respect due, but I'm not hating on anyone. I don't hate on anyone, but I just do not like that brand. Mm. And it's like, why are we promoting like bogeys? It's like, right, right, yeah. right. Why are we? Yo, we yeah, we're supporting we the mediocrity. Fucking, here. We need the eagle emirates. Support, uh, yeah, I don't support mediocrity. Yeah, <laughs> we need the holes across in, the board. One thing, excellence only. One holes thing, only. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you ever think about like 
Ralph named a brand after a sport and then like made other sports gear yeah. called polo. Sure. That's interesting. <laughs> Does it really? It's well, almost like it just if you really break it down, it's like when you're in, in Hawaii laying on a beach, and you're like you see every star in the galaxy and you don't know who you are. Right. That's the same feeling I get. <laughs> <laughs> when you look at when you go shopping at Ralph, <laughs> what I think about that. though, I guess he does. Look, like, I got te- I got polo tennis on. Right. How much fucking CBD polo is that? How much that CBD not, is that Nacho green tea? guy? The professional polo is like the polo player. That guy Nacho is like the face of the brand. So there's that connection, right? There. Right. But, but he doesn't like make polo. Later. Yeah, I guess you're right. that was like like thirty years later. Is there, there any more? Yeah. Is there any more Ralph on this body? Yeah, on this radio body. Yeah. Is this oh the undershirt? Oh, here we go. He's a, he's sultrily undressing right yeah. now. Oh, oh there, all that literally one, he's got a horsepower, ladies and gentlemen. He's got he's a got fucking a fucking polo pony logo on his on the chest, yeah. on the titty. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, you know, you need to tell that into the mic. So let's. Yeah, I, I have. A po- <laughs> OK, I have a I have a polo horse tattoo on, on my the titty. titty horsepower, <laughs> which is in the right exact spot where it would be on your left. Chest. Did you come into the tattoo shop wearing a polo and then they just like outline it like while you're wearing it? Actually, no, we had a party. I had a party for. When I launched Buscemi in West Hollywood and we had funny enough, we had like like a petting zoo there. <laughs> OK, <laughs> which had like a kangaroo and maybe some other animals, which was I don't know. Whoever put the event together was like wild. <laughs> They're off a of bean, bro. What? Adult we petting had a, zoo. We had a tattoo artist like all you can eat tattoo. Sure. Like, but it has to be small. because yeah, It's got to be fast. Yeah, yeah, be yeah, fast, quick. So at the end of the party, the guy's like, yo, it's your party. Do you want something? I was fucking mangled. Yeah, exactly. and I was, was going like, to ask how smash you were. <laughs> Give me the you, pull. You emerged from chest. the kangaroo's pocket, and you're like, well, well, I was like, I don't even know why the I went pouch. there. I think I actually had it banked, like, right. to do, and I was like, fuck it, let's do the it. The whiskey unlock. How it. many years ago was this? This is 2012. Do you have any other logos designed on your body, tattooed on your body? I have my logo on my body. Okay, interesting. On your other titty or on your ass? No, I have. Uh, it's on my arm. Do you okay. want to see it right now? Yeah, of sure, course. Yeah. Okay. Why not? Shout out to Dr. Wu. Oh, shit. Oh, this is expensive shit. Oh, no, I'm like, familiar. Yeah. Like yeah. Thousands of dollars an hour. God damn. You and the, the sleeve doesn't work. I'll show it to you. Later. <laughs> okay. we'll, take, we'll take your word for it. Yeah. What uh, is the shirt, though, that you unbutton to show us the team? Yeah, this polo. This is a Grayson polo shirt. This is like the, this is a uh, this is like the Hermes of golf wear. Okay. This is the best materials. The finest. But it's like performance. It's performance, but it's not like fucking. It's like sweat like, wicking. It's not under like, armor, like gym right. teacher performance. Yeah. No, it's this not civilian like, performance. This is like performing like Nacho. Like right. how Nacho yeah. would want to perform. This is, what Tiger wears when he's, this is what Tiger wears when he's fucking bottle girls. In the yeah, exactly. yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sweat wicking Giving technology. AIDS? What'd you say? I said when he's fucking bottle girls in Vegas. <laughs> oh, Vegas. I don't know about that. I thought you said when he's Yo. fucking girls and giving them AIDS. Yo, that's Yikes. HIPAA. That's HIPAA. That's a HIPAA yeah, violation. Yeah. We're not we're, listen. We're not here to judge, man. You know, get it, get it how you live. Just get Jackie consent on top of the on this top is, of the uh, Grayson. Uh, Chris Gibbs uh, of did a collection for Undefeated, Big homie. which is our, our, our yeah. Shout out Chris Gibbs, friend this of the show. A camouflage. Um, this is for the bigger gentleman. Yeah, yeah. The big it has this. It has oh this, like, yeah, like it a, has this a like vent. kind of like venting. Nice, like um, food venting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> over overeating vent. Sure. That's like nice. Instead of unbuckling the belt, you just like open up the gusset right, on right. the side. The, uh, the silhouette is adjustable. Always open. Right, right. Always, open. <laughs> Always flowing. And then I'm wearing a Brooklyn Dodgers hat because we're, uh, you know, we're in L.A. And I'm are, a Yankee fan. My family out here is, are Dodgers fans. Sorry for your loss. Yeah. Um, yeah but so are you now rooting for the Dodgers? I am. My son's By a big facto. Dodger fan. Okay. Um, but during COVID, uh, I started uh, this brand called Amus Bush, mm. which was a charity we tried to raise money for kids that couldn't. Uh, when schools are closed, kids in, in fucked can't up eat. neighborhoods can't eat. So right. I said, let's. We had a deal with New Era. New Era, give us some hats. I said, let's put some fucking cool logos on the side. Oh, yeah, there you go. LMB Spamoni Gardens. Nice. Oh, legendary. In Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. Delicious. So, you know, we did these hats. Might have seen the boys in a little photo shoot there a while back. Raised a bunch of money for kids that couldn't eat. Delicious there. fucking pies, dude. Best Sicilian pie, I think, in New York. Really? Yeah. You like how it's undercooked um, a little? It's a little undercooked, which I like. It's chewy. It's, yeah. It's good. I it's, like got it. a, it's got a good but chew it, for but sure. But what I do is I ask them, can I get it a little well done? Mm-hmm. Which they don't like to hear. Right. But that gets the bottom a little harder. Pause. <laughs> and then it's Love a hard bottom. Yeah. yeah. Do you think the guy deserved to get killed for the secret recipe? No. No one deserves to die. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, not not over pretty. fucking sauce, dude. <laughs> There's also uh, sauce Umberto's is dripping too hard. Park in Long Island, where I'm from. Umberto's? Umberto's, yeah. Squirt, you're talking Sicilian slices still? Yeah, or? I have a great Sicilian. Got it. 
what else? What are the other uh, slice slice? Grit yeah, let's just get this out York. of the way since you're the expert. Like, what is the if you're in New York, you touch down. What is the go to slice? I just because JFK, you take the I just dip down to the cross island. And I shoot onto Jericho Turnpike. I go to Umberto's. Oh, Hyde shit. Park. It's on the border of Queens and Long Island. Umberto's. That's fucking like you're supporting like, the hometown heroes. Like, just put it this way. Like. Frank and Frank, mm-hmm. when they opened their pizzeria in fucking Brooklyn, they went to go like get pointers from um, like Umberto. He's the Yoda of the show. Umberto. They what call do you think him. of um, the king? What do you think <laughs> of the notion that some people have, which is that Jersey and Connecticut actually have better pizza than New York? Well, like New Haven is iconic. I mean, New Haven is iconic. Don Pep. I'm uh, not yeah. uh, sorry. Frank, Frank Pepe. Mm-hmm. Frank Pep. And then Sally's is the other one. Sally's yeah. is good. Um, I, I'm a huge fan of a clam pie. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna be both I'm, brother. I don't wouldn't drive. Oh, I wouldn't pussy. drive there day one. But right. if I'm in New York, I actually had a I, I had a house in Bedford for a long time. I uh I would drive to the Danbury, Connecticut, like Frank Peps like, to get the regularly. clam pie. Yeah, for forty, we'd drive forty minutes in traffic. Worth it, like but, Frank. <laughs> yeah, with yeah. that long oven, that long yeah, it's huge with the, <laughs> with the fifteen long, foot poles. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> the poles are like seventy feet. Yeah, huge. Have you fifteen? It's a javelin, dog. They're seventy <laughs> feet long. It's no lie. They're yeah. sixty feet long. Some of those. Yeah, I mean, some the, of those, it, the uh, oven is the size of this fucking it office. Was insane. Mm-hmm. It, it is. Have you tried any of the new shit in New York, Brooklyn, like um, La industry, La industry La shit, or your boy Action, Leo? Best the pizza. only one I've tried, Best Pizza. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's the guy that like had a pizza show on Vice. It's called yeah. Best Pizza. Yeah, it's, I mean it's okay. I mean best. Yeah, best industry. is okay. Yeah, but so like you, you're not, like it's not the best. No, but it's, it's not the best. We maybe we should call it Good Pizza. Yeah. <laughs> his name, his name was Joe or Frank or something. Yeah, yeah something he like was like the yeah he no, was the, he, he was no, the no, pizza. No, you know what, he helped us. Uh, it's funny when we open, uh, open Uncle Paulie's, he helped the guys from Prime Pizza, James Starr and those guys, which is a great LA slice, really mm-hmm. good. He actually taught them how to make pizza. Oh damn, okay, not. Does LA have what I'm pizza saying is all? like best pizza. Uh, let me let me retract that. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. No, I wasn't trying to say it's good. It's good. <laughs> it's very good pizza. I'm saying it's good. It's very good, but it's not the best. Right. I'm better than still no. in name Number only. One. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. 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 I mean, I like. I mean, you got uh, what's the brick oven pizza on Houston Street? Fuck. Anti- um, I don't know. Oh, Houston Street. Houston and like Thompson. Oh, West. It's a brick oven pizza. I'm bugging. But John's Pizza is amazing. Yeah, of course. Town. Does L.A. have good pizza? Uh, uh, L.A. has amazing pizza. Really? I don't know. Amazing really? pizza? Amazing pizza. Where are we going? Amazing. Not, but not. Pizzana is amazing pizza. But it's, it's not, not, it's okay. not better than New York. No, 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 no. What about bagels? No, 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 That's no, the no, other no, fucking no, thing. No, no. You can't, you, you can't compare L.A. pizza to New York pizza. If we're just putting, pe- if you're putting pizza as the top of the outline. Sure. And then you have like L.A. under it. There can be good pizza in L.A. Mm-hmm. You can't compare it to New York. You can compare it to pizza. Does that make sense? <laughs> the genre itself. The genre itself. Right. Under yeah. the pizza umbrella. <laughs> yeah. Like pizza. I fuck with Pizza Hut, too. You know? Oh, who, sure. I mean, you know, like if you get a good like some good Pizza Hut is really. Fucking well, is it, what is it saying? Like bad, b- bad pizza is like bad sex is still good. Is for somebody at least <laughs> is that what they said? i think they someone, said? someone someone said that, that. Well, i'm not taking credit for it Lawrence hasn't had sex in years um oh john let's talk about the watch what's the id uh this is a solid 18 karat gold submariner which is very rare delicious this is the first year of the ceramic face i think it's 2012 awesome did you get that to celebrate some like momentous occasion or was it just like or was it just or was it, was a light <laughs> flex on a tuesday no this was a this was my first gold watch um, it was to celebrate me launching my brand, the Vichemi brand. And Any I other jewelry? To, Any other jewels? I yeah. don't have any jewels on today. You know, I usually wear some whores and like a whores and booze chain, mm-hmm. maybe a bracelet. Uh, I have a pinky ring every now and again, but I'm trying to keep it light. You know, we're in today. LA. You might get, yeah. you can get murked out here for those jewels. Yeah, we're on La Brea. Yeah. yeah. You get, <laughs> might, you get a, get run. might get yeah. whacked outside the of Stussy. Get might run. get run up on a sugar fish. <laughs> yeah. No, no. <laughs> No, there's like there's fucking these scan scan scanners. What, scammers? just like kids? Just like kids, kids that are like sh- lining up kids, for, at kids, Union? No, like men in blacked out chargers roll up and just like come grab shit and just bounce on La Brea into the hood. I miss the old L.A. <laughs> well, and what about the panties? Let's yeah. forget. Finally, the panic, the panties, the, the panties. underwear, the undies. panties. Oh. What's keeping the gabagool all yeah. wadded up, you know? Calvin Klein boxer briefs, kind okay. of boring. No, that's that's like standard. A, that's kind of like toilet paper to me now. 
<laughs> I don't really change much. You know, it's well, you just want it, you're one and right, right. You the, find it, no, and you're I like, it's locked like the, in. I found it like you know where I got. I got to go. Do you ever go to Century Twenty Ones? Of course, York? they're bankrupt. That's, though. Yeah. Are they? Yeah, they're oh, they're sh- well, they're still they're still there's still a few, but I think they're winding yeah, they really filed for bankruptcy, casualty. Uh, That's where piece. you go though. That's That's that. and you just no, buy- I learned about in in high school. Um, my last year of high school, I remember going to Century Twenty One in Queens, and uh, I learned about uh, Calvin <laughs> Klein because I, I I took them. Oh, no, I, they were boosted. I I five fingered them. Well, well, statute of limitations. Yeah, I think you're okay. Yeah, now I could say, you know, I, if anyone's listening, this is a parody podcast. Yeah, satire. but yeah, I think this the statute all, of allegedly, limitations is okay. allegedly, right? Yeah, exactly. For them. Right. Rumors have it that they were boosted, and we are drinking. What are you got? Some coffee? You got some black coffee? We're drinking some delicious. Uh, yeah, let's Saint plug James your shit, Green dog. Tea. Yeah. yeah. So um, just sweet enough. And you know what? You're, I mean, real talk. You're some of the first people really? on the planet to try that. That just came. Fuck yeah. About a week ago. That's the final formulation of the the green tea. Some the, honey notes. Oh, some I will give it a ten yeah. out of ten. You like it? I love it. Because you know what? No one wants that sugary treat anymore. You want the Zona, that, the magnum of Zona. Yeah, I don't know if you want that anymore. Well, it's terrible for you. It's terrible. That's, that's like the uh, that's like the myth as a kid where you're like, oh, I'm being healthy. It's green tea. We had some the other day when we were shooting our uh, Montclair Spawn Con, and I was yeah. like, wait a second. It's 210% of your daily sugar. Intake? Yeah, it's out of control. How is that possible? Yeah, it is diabe- it's a, it's diabetes in a can. That's, that, I mean, like all the, I mean. This, however, this 20, is 20 four calories. grams of sugar. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, it's mm. probably 10% of your daily Drops intake. next month in I, December. It's dropping in December. Not even 10, 8%. It's dropping sub, in December 10, baby. Yeah. in South Florida. That's where we're starting. That's where John Farolito, my co-founder, is from. And then we'll be in New York and everywhere else. You doing a little Miami fucking kickback? We're going to go to Miami um, during Art Basil. Mm, yeah, heard of, it. heard of that. Yeah, delicious. <laughs> I say Art Basil. I never forget. Uh, Art Basil, like, I, we used to go back when it was just like, you know, like, oh, you know, was like an art Swiss, uh, everyone was Swiss. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I get it. I have a mental image. Yeah, you just had that like vibe, you know, like and like China Chow or something was there. It was like art scene, you know. Aaron was there, Mm. and then like hasn't been corrupted. Yeah, like it got corrupted like around when I launched my brand, like 2012. So it's your fault. Yes, probably. You ruined Art Basel. (laughs) Yeah, just like you know, Mr. Brainwash or whatever, right? (laughs) Right. Yeah. You and Alec Monopoly. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Alec Monopoly, though, because like I think he he's in on the joke, which is the great. Part you think so? I think so. Yeah. I mean, he's fucking rolling I in the money. I mean, I hope he is because his art his is brother. ass. <laughs> yeah. We're not big art guys, but we know ass. when we. Yeah. See yeah, it. exactly. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. You Listen, know, art, what you, you know what you smell is, it, dude. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder. <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would say for everybody but Alec Monopoly, probably. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So um, I'll never forget. We're at like the Shore Club or one of those places. And it's like art. Art Basel, and then like Nori. Oh, I mean Nori had like before he was a drunk podcast. Yeah, like, way before that <laughs> he was still he, a rapper. No, he was washed. <laughs> yeah, like there was, was that, there was yeah. that washed area of like when all the South shit was like cracking. Right, and this was like I guess like Cash. This was like when Wayne. 2012 was a weird time for hip hop. It's like Carter three. Yeah, like yeah. It was Drake. like it was like no New York rappers were like really just it was like well it's pretty it's like pre Rocky. It's kind of like pre Rocky oh, yeah, before Rocky yeah, before the pre- resurgence. That. It was just right. like a, just yeah. nothing happening. And like you see when Nori, Nori go, and Nori, Swiss beats for the New York ambassadors. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Like Nori came out like to do a few songs, and you're just like we're all like we're all you know 50 years old that you know yeah. yeah. But we're the old right, right. Like, yes, yeah. <laughs> what, what, like, what, 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 what? Yeah, yeah. kids are like, yeah, exactly. The super thug came on, and these banned you know, from these TV. Kids and girls are like, who? who? Yeah, what? where's what? Capone? <laughs> and he goes, Yo, everybody here at Art Basil. I'll never forget that. And he said it like five times. And we're just like, <laughs> he was he, tr- he tripled he down, really, quadrupled he really, he tripled down. down on the wrong on the, and we were just like, hell yeah, shout out Nori. This is just yo, shout out our professional peer, fellow podcaster yeah. Noriega, dude. <laughs> Yeah, he's the, he, I mean, he's the greatest. He fell super. The well, well, we, we not we got our outro music now, so Absolutely. appreciate that. Um, I think that's a complete fit check, complete and drink check, check, complete drink check. John, you have been known to fly around the world in the pursuit of the perfect bite, the perfect meal. <laughs> What's the furthest you've ever traveled just for like a singular meal? Yeah, it's got to be longer than forty minutes to Connecticut for a clam pie. Yeah, I would imagine. Unless yeah. that's it. I don't know. <laughs> not slight work. 
Got it. Um, oh, okay. I got a good one. Okay. <laughs> from this off, from this, not this actual office, but from this street, La Brea. we drove to uh, Valle de Guadalupe for dinner. What's in, that in trip? In Rosarito, Mexico. It was a five-hour drive. Damn. What? <laughs> we went to Deckman's for this crazy steakhouse, and he was doing an omakase. He was doing omakase from, like, the Gulf only fish from the Gulf of Mexico Incredible. Like one night. And we like heard about it at three o'clock and we drove there. We were there at eight o'clock at night. Made it in the we Bentley? It. Through what, the, was it worth no, it? We were, in a, we were in a black Sprinter van. It was worth it times a thousand. God James damn. and I were debating. We were like, yo, what kind of car does John drive? I think we were going between like a G Wagon and a, and a Range Rover. And then when like, we, I thought, I thought Lambo truck. Yeah. And then, Lambo and, truck, that, and that then when we called you, you're like, yeah, yeah, there's a parking space right next to my Bentley. <laughs> so you were close. <laughs> no, I said, I was thinking G Wagon. And then I was I like, wait, it's got to be a Bentley you, truck. You, you, I had one of those. You had one of those. I had one. I did a collaboration with Brabus. Yeah. Check oh, it shit. Out. Are you a big car guy? I am, yeah. What are, cars. so the, what's the rotation? Whip in the Bentley, but what else is in the game? So the Bentley, I have, uh, <laughs> I have the long wheelbase Range Rover. Fire. British Racing Green on chocolate. Woo! It's a good one. Smacking. Yeah. From I have home. a, I have an 83 911 SE Targa, mm. which is the first year of the 3.0 engine, which is a real fun car. Um, I have the wolf in sheep's clothing. I had it. I had it out yesterday. I should have fucking brought it today. Damn. It's a 1992 Mercedes 500E. Ooh. Big body. Wolf, yeah. It's the wolf. No, it's the, it's, they called it the wolf's in sheep's clothing because it looks like, like a car a dentist would drive, <laughs> but it has like a V8 5.0 motor in it. And just, just fucking, fucking ripping down. Just, yeah. The reason it's Sunset, also cool, Porsche <laughs> collaborated on it. Oh, shit. Oh, well, yeah. we love when Germans get together. Is there, you know? Do you have a dream whip that like you have yet to, to acquire that is like on the the hit list um rolls royce did a anniversary uh phantom two-door phantom Ooh. oh we going to the opera baby i don't yeah. know if you've seen that one the phantom <laughs> of the opera seriously <laughs> it's it's a a with opera Do you know Steve, what a phantom dude? is you know the phantom yeah of course so there's a two-door one that has this hard top that looks like a roadster hard top and there's no sunroof it's just wild right it's like you're in this like little why, why don't you get it yeah, what's, I don't know, man. It's just it's uh it's maybe, like, when, maybe when the green tea hits, right? You know yeah, why yeah. though? <laughs> when that tea hits. <laughs> yeah. That tea money. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it's 220 inch long coupe. Okay. It's as long as a it's it's so it's it, the coupe is so big, it's as long as an escalade. It won't fit in my garage. It's the size <laughs> of a fucking Frank Pepe's pole. It's yeah. Longer than <laughs> Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> it's longer than Johnny. <laughs> Johnny's a tall guy. It's long, it's longer. It's longer than an Escalade ESV. So it doesn't fit in the So gosh. it's absolutely it's not, not practical. It's whatsoever. not practical. They can't take those S turns in the hills. No, nah, I can't. No, no, no. It's a boat, dude. This shit is a boat. It's a boat. It's a fucking it's boat. boat. <laughs> well, whether it's cars, whether it's driving in a fucking Sprinter van to another country to get a meal. Yeah. Whether it's uh, wearing the Hermes of polos, <laughs> you there's like decadence is like the through line of your life and not like a gauche way and like a fucking like yeah. aspirational way. How can regular it. dudes sprinkle decadence into their daily life? Like, what's the secret there? Yeah. <laughs> That's um, a real question. You know I mean, <laughs> fuck you, dude. Uh, <laughs> Don't laugh. <laughs> <laughs> when, you, when it's time to laugh, you will know. That's a real question. <laughs> um, I guess you're going to have to do it in small ways. Right. It's, a regular dude and decadence is like that's it's I does not compute. It's a bit dissonant. Was that something that's yeah. always been in your life though? When you were like a kid growing up, along no, Strong but that's Island? like that's what I'm saying. Big like, dreams. No, I, I was I had no money. Right. I would go to like uh, I grew up in Union. You steal polo. <laughs> yeah, we'd steal polo and steal other things. What else would you steal? Um, <laughs> we'd steal a lot of polo. Yeah, we'd steal. From like Hel Macy's? Yeah, we'd steal like Jill Sander and fucking oh, Helmet Lang. And but you still, that's the thing, you have good taste. But we'd wear it with like, you know, Jerbos and Jordans mm -hmm. and, you know, because Century 21 taught me fashion. I'm not even kidding. It's like how, that was like fashion I'm school not for even you. Like you go in there and there's like Versace robes in there and like, <laughs> in like fucking 91. You're yeah. Like, what the fuck is that? What is this? <laughs> yeah, I need it. <laughs> yeah. But then we go to, we go to Hirsch Life first and look through the window. Mm -hmm. go to Miracle Shout out Mile. Lori. Come on yeah. the pod. Yeah, Legendary. With, What's up with Lori? She's not doing the pod. I, uh, we've never asked her, by the way. I, I, I the asked pod. her. I asked her in DM. I think she like. And you, you, you shot your shot. You floated into goat. Lori's yeah. DMs. That's the real goat. Right yeah, sure. yeah. Her fucking fit check would just be ninety minutes long. Just her walking just through her, her bracelets. Just her stack. Yeah, She's oh like Jacks, bro. Yeah, <laughs> Dude, <laughs> yeah. You need security for that stack. <laughs> yeah, for might real. Sprinter van and security. She's a nightmare at fucking the airport, dude. TSA hates her. She has to walk through like this, like 
Well, she flies private. She definitely is only flying private. That stack stays on. Maybe I don't know. I mean, not internationally. <laughs> so, so, what, so you're so you're saying that like it wasn't always this way, right? You know, no. You, what I'm saying is the reason I laughed was is because like, you know, um, what did American Express say? What was their old? Can't little, leave home without it. No, no, <laughs> yeah, that it was like uh, you know, privileges or I don't know. I forget what the fuck they said. So you learn anyway, decadence from Amex. You have to earn the privilege, you know? You can't just like, I mean, you can like. It's not handed to no, you. No, you can, you can go to Petrosian and buy like 50 grams of caviar and throw it on your omelet, but that's still like a hundred bucks. Right. But that's a little decadence. Yeah. Right. Go buy some caviar. Yeah. Put caviar in anything. Yeah. Get, get a case it, of it, Buy a wine that Potato costs chips. Sour buy a, cream. Buy a wine that doesn't come in a box. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Or a jug. <laughs> or a bag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, but yeah, there's the. You know, we were looking, we were uh, window shopping. Mm. I'm a window shopper. <laughs> Remember that one? Yeah, yeah, of course. Wait, so, so, so you're saying that a nice little tip is to just like, you know, do your research in like a, an active part, uh, per, uh, like actively participate. Well, where it's like do some window shopping. A hundred percent. Shop like, around. We were like, a, we were like the aspirational lifestyle was so bad that it turned into like shoplifting. Mm. You know, that's you terrible. It. Right. We don't want people to do that. We're not encouraging that. Not at the Bashemi wink, wink. Not at the Bashemi store. Yeah, yeah. We're not, exactly. <laughs> we're not encouraging that. But what 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 is encouraged is like we were like on some like research missions, you know, and right. recon. Yeah, that's what it really R and D and the aspirational R and D. So it's like learn what you want before you actually yeah. incorporate. So it that when you can't get right. it, you know what you want. Exactly. And you can get right to the fucking chase. Well, decadence is baked into your DNA. <laughs> Another thing baked into your DNA is a baked ziti because you are an Italian, <laughs> a proud Italian American. And as an Italian American, how offended were you when Chris Br- Pratt was cast as Mario? I mean, come on, man. You fucking run up in Sony Studios just letting the yapper off? Like, <laughs> I mean, I don't know what's what's happening in this world. I don't know. Did you see? <laughs> I have no. I have he, no comment. He had to. He had, <laughs> He, he had to come out and publicly be like, yo, by the way, like, I'm not going to do the voice. <laughs> There's like, nah, Chris like Pratt. my grandparents, it's like, me. my grandparents, you know, my grandmother was Italian on like one side, you know, that's it. No, him. Chris oh, Pratt. Okay. oh okay. what part of Italy is your family from? He's a capper. Yeah, exactly. Sicily. Mm. Ooh, Siciliano. Pa- yeah. My mom's side was Irish, British, and my dad's side's full blooded Sicilian, Sic- Sicilian. I was just there. Um, a couple of months ago, and yeah, uh, we went to the. I finally made it. I've been, we'll Syrac- I've been to Syracuse before, which is Syracuse, where like Carmelo was. Yeah, but that's that's originally <laughs> Syracuse. Sicily. Syracuse. Yeah, Syracuse. Yeah, <laughs> I say Syracuse. I sound a little crazy. <laughs> I went to Syracuse in <laughs> Sicily, <laughs> Paris of upstate New York. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> It's literally called that. Yeah. yeah. Really? No they tried to br- they way. tried to brand themselves the Paris New York. I swear to God. Damn, yo, shout out the carrier dome. <laughs> <laughs> was that Wait, so, so, you, so, you went, so you went back. So I went back and um the first time I was there was on a trip after Fashion Week and we went just for a vacation, went to a resort. With like Syracuse. the family? No, with like my homies and Got it. people Fuck that yeah. were. Boys for me. trip. Yeah. It was like a boys' trip after Paris Fashion Week. A little mm. celebration. Yeah, like yo, we're with here. Squad. We used to do that all the time. Like you go to Paris and you're there for like 10 days and it's like you sat in a fucking showroom and talked about like, right. Yeah. Skews. Skews. So yeah. You skewed it. Yeah. You skewed yeah. out. Skewed the, yeah. skewed the fuck out. <laughs> and then uh, we'd fly to, we went to Morocco once. Woo. Hashish. Went to Casablanca. How was the hashish? We had the hashish and all that out there. We went to Sicily. We went like whatever. We went was this, to like a, this was a tradition with like, this you my and tradition you're like, for like Yo, six years. We, we killed did. it. Yeah. But not, the winter, not in the winter trip. Only in the summer. Fashion sure. Week of course. Trip. Of course. Can't, then, can't spoil the squad. Yeah. No. Look at these fucking soft boys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Living in the lap of luxury, dude. Yeah. yeah drinking just... all this green tea for free. Yeah. <laughs> Johnny. <laughs> Johnny. <laughs> you know what? He doesn't look that old when the mask comes off. Let's when see. Yeah. Oh, eh, yeah. He's got a young face. Yeah. When you... Mazel. <laughs> young soul. These boys are uh, part of the tribe. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll see you in heaven, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Chosen few, man. This is just a few. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so my dad went like a couple of years ago to Memphis. <laughs> okay. Which is in. Is that Memphis? Like key Memphis. Glock and shit? Okay. Memphis. All right. Memphis. Memphis, which is like Sicily's on an island. Yeah. It's like the California. <laughs> yeah. It's the California oh, oh, right. of, of Sicily. You know, it's like this side. Got it. It's left near coast. Cortana. It's near olive oil country. Mm. And then the Franks. 
fuck who I'm fucking who I frogs. fuck with heavy. Obviously, the Franks from Brooklyn. <laughs> oh, they're yeah. invited me just now. I'm going next week to to the Olive Oil Harvest. Oh, uh, that's right. Is, yeah, you mentioned which that. is in the town where my grandparents are from, which is so. Small world homecoming trip. for you, dude. Homecoming. So this previous trip that you were on, I mean, I was fucking following. You that was like, a re- recon. That, but that was like that was food based mainly. That was vacation. OK. And then the but last part good. of it was like, hey, Frank's uh, birthdays in 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 uh, Partana. You yo, come through. Mm. Mm. And uh, we came, uh, me and my wife. You saw you and you conquered. came and yeah. we went to Ardenia, which was like maybe one of the best food experiences of my life. We're going to Italy in the very near future. What should be on our bucket list? Yeah. Just you know, oh, and let's leave it to, so we're going to be in Milan and Bologna. We're going to kind of be, oh, yeah. so what's the, what's the maneuver? What are we doing? Okay. Off top. Off top. Um, we if you're in Bologna, all. you have to drive 30 minutes south to Modena. Okay. Oh, sure. And you got to go eat a juicy. I mean, there you go. That's he, what's his name? What's the guy? Like Massimo Batura. Massimo. Okay, he has three places. He has Frances- Francescana, which is the number one restaurant in the world. Boom. I don't actually suggest you go there. Boom. On your first trip, that's, that's more like advanced. You can, okay. Wait, really? You, you get there. Later. should not apply. I, I, I'm going to give you the, the the real shit. All right. Okay. So I'm sitting in front of this place called Juicy in Modena Ooh. with Massimo Batura. Were you and wearing Giorgio the Juicy Dimitri. Stussy? I had a suit on, actually. Oh shit! Uh, You're being respectful. I had a Lardini suit on. Ooh. With a pair of Common Projects and a white T-shirt. <laughs> Mamma mia! Big fuck ago. you, pinstripes or. No, no, no. Doing? I just had like uh like cotton. It was a it was a it was like a camel colored cotton. Beautiful. Double breasted of with course. the pants. You're a Don. Yeah. I looked very That's when like, the pinky ring comes out. I looked very like talented Mr. Ripley. <laughs> okay. Like those kind of vibes. Like and a I psychopathic murderer. But I was also hungry. Yeah, of course. <laughs> All right. So you're sitting there. So I'm sitting in salivating. front of I'm sitting in front of uh I'm with John Gray from Ghetto Gastro. Okay. And Bar Brown. The homie. God. Giorgio Dimitri, who's the god of 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 Bologna, Milan, all that shit. He's you like know, the, the unofficial he ran mayor. like the Nike stuff and you gotta all that stuff. Put us on stuff. a group text. Yeah, <laughs> he's like the ill dude. So he's sitting there front, and Masu Batura rolls up. Have you met him before? Never met him, man. But you were obviously familiar with his work, of course, man. And also, obviously, everyone knows him probably from Chef's Table. Yeah, right. He the, saved the Parmesan industry. Right. Yeah, Francescana, <laughs> blah blah blah. So he goes, guys, Parmesan savior. If you're uh, if you're in um, in Italy, the best place for food in the world. And you're in Emilia Romagna, which is the best region for food mm-hmm. in the world. And you're in Modena, which is the best food in Emilia Romagna. And now you're standing in front of Cafe Juicy, which is the best meal in all of Modena. Then you're about to eat the best lunch on the planet. Yeah. And he thousand fucking percent. blew my wet mind away. Yeah. I couldn't believe the way he said it. And you walk <laughs> through a an Italian deli. They open the. They open like a, you know, like the little like that door, Trap on the counter, door. the yeah. little counter. Oh, little yeah, yeah. Counter entrance door with a little like for know, the st- it's like a staff door yeah, with, a, yeah. with a meat men can, you know, yeah, where the meat the men can make their way through. <laughs> and then you walk through this door that goes downstairs and you walk like down a basement like path in the basement and you walk out to this one fucking huge room. That's they, they serve like five tables a day. That's it. Wow. It's fucking right, so you got to go there. Can you get us a res? No question about it. Oh, shit. 100%. Oh, Here's the fucking thing. say less. Let's go, dude. Here's the thing. Um, I'm not a terrible driver, right, Lawrence? Like, I parallel parked today. No, you, Lawrence good. can't drive. No, driving, I can drive. Driving Italy just, fucking scares me, bro. I, I Everyone can. thinks they're Mario Andretti. I think you're wrong, actually. <laughs> you think I can do it? Yeah. You driving can't drive stick, though. So we're oh, fucked. I can't drive stick. He's fucked anyway. No, no, they have auto. Do they have Ford Escapes there? there? They have a Ford Escape out there. They have a Ford. <laughs> Escape. A Ford Escape. You want one of those cars where, like, the Ford, you open it from, like, the front? Like the Steve Urkel car? Yeah, that's the Fiat <laughs> Jubilee, I think. All right, they let's get that. Like he wants the Urkel yeah. 500, dude. You know when like Seinfeld's like in comedians and cars getting coffees in one of those like yeah, tiny yeah. little Italian like a like, buggy. boxes? Yeah, yeah, it's a Fiat. Uh, let's get that. It's a Fiat. But you're yeah. going to plug us with Massimo? Are you going to make it happen? I'm plugging you guys. We're going to hold Fuck, you to yeah, that because I want to fucking. I mean, that guy's the I mean, he's the goat, that. dude. Doing yeah, that. but but Massimo doesn't own Juicy. Oh, okay. He was just going there to eat. Oh, he was just. Oh, he was. Was he eating lunch with you guys? No, he was just going to eat on his own. He was supporting the homies in front. He's like the mayor of Modena. Like he walks around. He What's his that. restaurant in Modena? Francescana. That's okay. Osteria Francescana. Osteria. Osteria. There, there it is. Franceschetti. Yeah. Okay. Which is like, like that. It's like when you can't get into. <laughs> you know, <laughs> 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 it's like, <laughs> you know, it's like when you're at like some fly. It's shit. a diffusion line. Yeah, it's a diffusion. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't get in here. Go, go here. Walk around the. You is ever the- see Goodfellas? He's like. Karen, yeah, a couple more doors down. It's like where you go to die. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> no, it's then. Uh, <laughs> then he also has where lunch goes. To Casa die. Maria Luigia, which is his hotel. Oh shit! Is so fly. Maybe you should stay there. Thirty I mean, minute, thirty minute drive. Thirty to minutes. Milan. Thirty minutes. Right. The Italian countryside. And then what's a camp? What's Bologna? I can go on for right. So what's one? This was in Bologna. What's one can't miss in Milan then? Because <sighs> everyone is telling us how how lit Milan is going to be. Yeah, we've both never been. Okay, or have I, you been? You've been. You've been. Like sandwiches. <laughs> Do I like fucking sandwiches, okay. bro? All, right. All you've had is sandwiches. Oh, yeah. right. There's a place in Milan. It's 200 years old. It's called DeSantis. Okay. DeSantis. Mm-hmm. DeSantis? DeSantis. They do like 100 or 150, I forget the number, different sandwiches. What? That's, that's, that's what? overload, bro. No, hold on. Let me get a ham and cheese, you don't though. Have to, you don't have to. <laughs> they do bacon, egg, and cheese? No. no. <laughs> the Aki way? <laughs> <laughs> No, they, can't, no, the, they can't do not get the bevy. Yeah, <laughs> no. Okay, they, so what's the order? No, I mean, okay, they do 150 sandwiches, but they're all like kind of this. They're not the same, but it's like there's like 20 sandwiches done, right? Like in a va- like variations ways. off of yeah, this. just like yeah. any like bodega, the same sure, shit, yeah. the Aki way. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like, like you no, know, this, like, the chicken like coat's ham, on top of the tomatoes. Ham and Swiss is like something, and then it's like Swiss ham, and ham, Swiss and pickles. Yeah, you know? right. Swiss and ham. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Um, there's one that they make. It's a, it's a. It sounds wild, but it's it's good because you're a, you're a Jewish man, mm-hmm. so you like a you like a fish delicate. Del- del- I actually don't. He's not. A I'm fish actually man. the one Jew who doesn't really. But don't 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 stop. Okay. Like you know, pretend it's it didn't, a, I didn't say a, that. It's a fresh prawn and cream cheese sandwich on a. Baguette. Oh well, I like prawns, dude. Prawn and cream cheese. Yeah, it's and it's wild. smacking. Really? It smacks hard. It's an olive oil and salt and pepper on it. And that's it's it. It's wild, bro. Cream cheese and shrimp and olive oil and salt. But and it's pepper. not cream cheese from like. You know the Jewish deli. It's like the mascarpone. Oh, okay. Mm. It's like a creamed cheese. So that's that's the one. It's a creamed cheese. Mm. <laughs> Had that in my pants the other night. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's speaking of sandwiches? What's your go-to order to Uncle Polly's? Oh yeah. Um, Do you have well, a sandwich have named Johnny. after you? Yeah, of course. Okay. The Johnny. The Johnny. The Johnny, the Johnny I boy. I have a. It's a seeded baguette, ice cold. Shredded oh, iceberg yeah. lettuce, freezing, ice cold, and freezing. that's it. It almost has <laughs> and bread. That's up. It. <laughs> the Johnny way. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, so uh, freezing so lettuce, cotto, prosciutto cotto, which is ham. Yeah. Mm. Um, alpine lace, Swiss. Mm-hmm. Well, funk, brown mustard. Ooh. Spicy. Mayo, mayo, and bread and butter pickles. Delicious, it's banging. How do we get on Uncle pa- Uncle Polly's flow team? Yeah, what's the secret password when we go in there? And just well, like first, it? you have to move to Los Angeles. Okay, not gonna happen. <laughs> All right, we're on. Not on the you guys are page. on. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> no, when we open up one in New York, you're, you is that the to. plan? Yes. Is that, oh, is that breaking it's news? Active. We're active. It's active. We're where, active. where are you looking? Where are you looking at? Yeah. I mean, I like it at LES or sure. somewhere down there where Paulie used to hang his hat. You know, is the concept of Paulie's like a, a classic New York? sandwich joint in LA so like how is it going to be when you come to New York yeah well, that's the funny thing like I don't think there's a lot of those left man nah true you have the Aki you got that shit you, you got, like got the, the Fonties Bodega. and Red Hook right okay you have okay you have all those great ones but, but there's nothing Red Hook. A, yeah all right it's Parisi's a fucking day, just it's closed, a day trip Parisi's, Parisi's just closed. closed you know uh what's the one on six Faico's uh not sure yeah six and bleaker Faico's okay. it's amazing what I'm saying is Uncle Paulie's works like not subway style, not 50 of them, mm-hmm. but like one or two in the city work, like one perfectly placed in right. either end of the city. It right? comes a work. beacon of deliciousness. Yeah, it's just like a good sandwich. And we're not trying to like get Regina's LES. Yeah, I haven't been to Regina's yet. I've heard good things it's about good. that. It's fucking good. Huge. Is there a Court Street in Manhattan? There's a Court two Street in Brooklyn. Okay. Yeah, they're good. Court Street Grocer. Shout, they're, they're fucking worthy of a shout out. Yeah. But yeah. All right. So Uncle Paul's coming soon. Though, La industry. Yeah. Woo. I mean, come on, bro. They number one, right? Yeah. They only do sandwiches one day a week, though. Wednesday. That's how good it is. And they sell out like fucking that. Your boy Action blew, blew them up too hard. It's impossible to get his place there now. We just did a bond me with Action for this uh, family. F- oh, I saw that. Shit looked cracking, bro. Oh, you guys missed it. You should have been here oh, for I mean, that. Yo, well, you don't know. Fucking you should have, bro. You're we're in busy, London. We were busy yeah. podcasting. Were you guys at Trickers making shoes? What were you doing? Yeah. We were. We we're pot. We we're doing you're this Northampton shoe North factory Hampton? tour. No, we we're doing we were, this, but with people that talked funny. We were, yeah, we we're mainly in Manchester, but then we had one night in London, and I'm telling oh, uh, you, man, who were you we with did, Michael Koppelman? No, <laughs> <laughs> with Michael Kane. <laughs> we were with uh, Nigel Caborn. Oh, I fuck with Nigel Heavy. He's a fucking he's psychopath. A it was the he's, did he yeah. give you clothes? 
No. Well, I mean, he gave us, he is gave he us supposed his to give us clothes? I mean, we were with uh, Gary Aspin from Adidas Special right. and Legend. Goldie, the yeah. fucking Goldie, yeah. jungle god. Yes, sir. Yeah. What's the thing you missed the most about New York City, though? I mean, you got the sandwiches through Uncle Paulie's here. <laughs> I, I think I, I Your missed passable pizza. I missed the random acts of violence. <laughs> really? No. <laughs> You got to wear more jewelry on the street. Then. Yeah, dude. He <laughs> wants that free smoke. I miss. No, I do. I miss the randomness of New York. What? Just like the run ins? Yeah, like I meeting a that. homie like, on the street and yeah, doing like, like a little stop and chat. Train, like I would take the train to like Lafayette and Spring or whatever. Yeah. The fuck. From my, and you spend the whole day just running into people. Uptown. You just run into people for yep. an hour. Sure. That's the And fucking... then like you run into people for another hour. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then you go to. Sweet and vicious. Is that still exist? That's still there. That still exists, yeah. dude. The margarita is still there. Yeah, no, yeah, the margarita is still black cold, out bro. on margaritas. Yeah. And then <laughs> and then you're looking for Carlito. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. <ski. laughs> and then uh you make your way to you know, you ended up at one oak or something. And then that I missed that. I missed that. That doesn't happen. The progression of so that, LA, that, it's like that organic, free, yeah. free flowing day. Yeah, LA is like and night planned. I'm gonna Yo, go to dinner. Crazy. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go. I'll see you at the chateau. And everything like, has to be intentional. Everything has to be like I'm going here yeah, by for design. This. And, and in like, LA, it's funny. Just like the movie and swingers, it, it's it's dead on. You go to a party to go talk about the next place you're going to. Really? In New York, you go somewhere and you stay there for six hours and right. fucking go nuts. You know. That's what LA's. It's always like, who can I talk to? Is that is What's that cooler? Something else cooler is happening. Why right. am I here? Is that the reflection of like LA being such a such a, a one industry town with like Hollywood and maybe entertainment? I don't I don't know what it is. I think it's a reflection of like the quality of people like on the on the majority side or like right. just people trying to like climb the ladder. Yeah. You know, Clout chasers. Mean, but the yeah. fun thing about LA is I actually don't want because New York. The reason I moved here is. You know, skating, going to work, going to Sweet and Vicious every night, doing drugs, fucking going to a club every night. It was right. awesome. starts to wear off. Oh, two hundred percent. No, no, it's awesome. My life it, is too sick. Your 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 life starts to but <laughs> right. it starts to like it's sick till it's not. And then you're like thirty or twenty. I don't. know. You oh. guys are young. Twenty nine. No, no, we're thirty four and thirty five respectively. Yeah, and you're still loving it, right? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, but you're not married. No kids. I'm married, married but no, no kids, kids. No kids. kids married. Are, kids kids are married. Are so you slow down a bit. Let's be honest. Uh, yeah. If my yeah. wife is, I know my wife's not listening, so no. <laughs> you're out. He every still night. has his nights. Not not out every night, but when we go out, we go fucking out. Yeah, but you're out. How many nights a week are you out? Two. Two, three. Yeah. A week? No, I mean not anymore. But a month it's, him. it's and it's. Week to week. But yeah. All right. But so you moved out here point, for like, you moved out here to like totally slow down. life point down point. a little bit. Yeah. I came here to, to, I actually came here to like do shit. Cause in New York, people are like, you know, make it here, man. I can't make it anywhere. But like, you can't really make anything happen when you're just like fucking in party mode in New York. Right. 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 Unless you're working on at like some private wealth management sure. or something. So for fucking. you, it was a little, it was like, it's like little part detox, part like, you that's know, what it was. It was kind of slow down. I moved to, when I first moved out here, I actually moved down to San Diego area. I worked at DC Shoes, mm-hmm. and it was like guys had like surf, like like uh, wetsuits on the railing in front of right. our office. It's a totally like, different lifestyle. Was, I lived in a vacation art environment essentially. Yeah, yeah. kick and flipping I liked it. between I, conference rooms. Yeah, yeah. it's like that. <laughs> but I liked it. It was like a. But look, I was at the fucking. We went to the. We came up here once a month, twice a month. We right. had to go to the local Party bar. Party Blink-182. It was just a different... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Tony we Hawk. We went to, like, fucking... You know, we went to San Clemente for yeah. the concert. Rob yeah, Deer dude. Dick. Yeah, Rob dude. Big Baby. Easter's in full bloom at Whole Foods Market with great deals on spiral-cut bone-in ham and leg of lamb, both crowd pleasers. Round out your spread with quiche, deviled eggs, and delicious catering platters from prepared foods. Oh, and remember to pick up a Whole Foods Market bunny cake from the bakery. Strap for time? They cater, too, with delicious options available without the effort. Find hundreds of Easter deals and delights now at Whole Foods Market. Yeah. Um, why does L.A. have such trash style, like, across the board? Yeah. Typically. It's ass, dude. Yeah. What the fuck? I think this is I what- mean, you have, like, the rare exceptions, right? Yeah. Yourself included. There's, there's, no, <laughs> yeah, okay. there's no one ringing that many bells in here. <laughs> let's be let's be real. <laughs> Um, well, when I first moved to L.A., this place was really bad. Well, when was that? What, what, what year was I moved here in 2002. Oh, so that's before restaurant. Like, Yikes. That's like before, Ed Hardy fucking. There, there yeah, was a few Von restaurants for people with money, but there was no like the everyday man was eating like shit in L.A. Yeah, there was no real like 
there was nothing. Right. One, two. Fashion was cool because we were wearing like Stussy right. and and skate shit. Streetwear, streetwear was like dominating. But like before, but that, for the for the cool guys, yeah. But like fashion was like, yeah, it was like oh, Christian Audige and right. Hardy, R.I.P. Um, the, the, or like that it was weird the dark death ages. goth like. Um, Chris Angel ass looking motherfucker. Yeah, Chris Angel affliction. C- scene ass kids. looking like a oh, mind affliction. I, get affliction. What, MMA couture. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> getting dressed like a real yeah. mind freak. And you know what's funny? <laughs> the funny. <laughs> oh, he liked that one, dude. That one hit, dude. <laughs> The peanut gallery is going crazy getting, right now. You're getting dressed like a real mind freak. <laughs> I'm on my grind freak. <laughs> no, but the funny thing is, and if you guys notice, the most the most influential look in the entire world, especially in hip hop, was invented right that way in the Inland Empire. Okay. Go on. Like that, like that Travis uh Barker shit. Oh, like 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 vans and skinny jeans? Yeah. Yeah, like if you see cons like, and carpenter jeans. You look at like Gunna or fucking like whoever's popular or young thug or these guys or Wayne. They're all dressed like, oh, like the pop they punk dressed like they, look, they work at Zoomies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah for Maybe real. it's expensive now. It says Balenciaga or it, Miri. still like yeah, yeah skinnies. Like, nah, nah, yeah, exactly. Skinny that pants and some work, vans. That guy used to work for me. Michael, Michael Miri? Miri? Yeah. What was How your was impression a- of him when he worked for you? What was like if you had to give him a- his performance review? <laughs> <laughs> was he wearing huge hats back then too? I I had the I think I had the huge hats first. Okay. <laughs> oh, yo, Mike Amiri bit your swag, dude. Yeah, I got he he bit he bit the. Swag. Are you boys with Mike still or? No, no, I haven't seen him. I I don't even know where he is. It does his success. Does he real still quick. have a brand? I don't I don't even. Are you I don't kidding me? It. I don't you, follow it, bro. It's like the biggest like menswear brand in the world. You're brand in you're America. fucking around. Bro. I'm not even kidding, bro. I have no he, idea. Oh, he's like the one in well, terms of uh, bottom line shit. Well, good for him, man. <laughs> you, this Maybe is, I taught him a couple things. Is this this is a surprise to you that he succeeded? No, 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 no. <laughs> is, okay, yo, is is Mike Buscemi? was very organized, and he was he was part of that like Rick Owens y like I told that that uh, not affliction, but like I don't know how to put my like like, like L A kind Goth. of like yeah trucker hat with a lot More of rocks on it yeah more rocker Rock, shit. rocker leather with zippers shit like cocaine yeah. cowboys. The reason I worked yeah. with, with the reason I worked with him was his cousin owns the hundreds. Ben hundreds is that guy's cousin. Okay. Oh shit. And in L.A., you have friends in these weird little pockets, right? And Ben said, yo, my cousin, Mike Amiri, makes dope accessories, leather accessories. And I needed to make some leather accessories. So that's what he did for me. It's be- crazy. He has the biggest brand in the world. Yeah. In terms of in terms of menswear, like he's Sales. the guy, bro. Wow. 100%. Wow. And still independently owned. Well, I mean, much him, like man. Rick, right? Good is just like Ralph and Ralph University, where he's kind of pe- so many people have come out of. Uh, you know, the coaching Ralph, tree is the, robust. The Ralph Lauren University. Is there a Bashemi University? A little bit. Garrett Light works for me for a long time. Mm. I wear a dude. Yeah. yeah. His dad is fucking Larry Light from Oliver Peoples. Yeah. I worked at Oliver Peoples. I was the creative director at Oliver Peoples. And then Garrett left, co- uh, finished college and was my intern. When so I was got at Garrett, Gourmet. we got Mike. <laughs> Remember Gourmet? Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah. Uh, Mike. Yeah. Garrett. Who else? I don't know. I, this there's probably someone. I just I I can't think of it right now. <laughs> Fuck him. But okay, so from 2002 <laughs> until now, like, why do you think LA still has, even if it's quote unquote influential, and you see like rappers wearing like you know cocaine cowboy, like whatever skater emo pop punk shit, LA style, bro. Like, what's going on here? Is it a taste level like a a taste what's level? What's the, the they used to like call it back when we were kids? It's like this is where fashion came to die. Yeah, it all starts in Japan and like goes like this. Oh yeah, no, no. <laughs> this is the final Japan's resting here. spot. This is it. So it's like Japan's here, here's LA. That's go all, all the way around yeah. the world. <laughs> I mean, that's, I think that's kind of how it works for real, right? Shit, that makes sense. You know, <laughs> <laughs> is that still the case? Yeah, I mean, has, it, got, getting, has dude, it gotten better? I, there, HBO had this show on about like fashion, how like, to make an America. No, he's no, talking about the hype. Thing. Oh, the hype! The hype. Like, that, that show slapped. <laughs> I'm serious. You that fu- show is very entertaining. No, no, but the fashion, I don't fuck with the clothing. Like, yeah. you fucked with the clothing. No, like fuck what? No. Like what? Like no. Yeah. No, I, I weep for the future. <laughs> I weep. The kids are not all right. <laughs> I weep. Yeah, that was a, that I was a tough look. Fashion future. The guy who won. Was just doing like upcycling a like a carbon copy of a carbon copy of a carbon copy of like what would be like a fire Visvin piece or something or Capital. And it's just like your boy from the here's the shittiest was a version. Guest judge, 
no, no. All the judges. I mean, Chris, Chris's wife. Chris, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Beth Gibbs. I wasn't talking about that or the show. I was just saying the the talent, the talent, and the fashion. The it was contestants. Just like, that's it. Like, yeah. You know, one chick. I remember watching it and being and like, they seemed all L.A. based kind of. Thing. Yeah, they were all very, it, and it was LA. all. It, and talking about like this shit, this idea of things like going around the globe and coming here to die, like watching like a young promising designer per like, you know, the show's words literally create like a bad 2012 Givenchy watch the throne type fit. You're like, what? Yeah. What year is this? Did I just walk into a swagless time machine. Like, what the fuck is going <laughs> on, bro? It's like, it's just, I hated that. Show. Le- I, you like because you like you like like love. I like the character. It. I like the characters. What? I didn't you like, like the, the character clothing, development. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. Of HBO Max presents the hype. I watch it for the article. <laughs> uh, <laughs> John, I just don't understand. Personally <laughs> speaking, <laughs> skating was a huge part of your childhood and your early career success. We talked about DC. If we put you on a board right now, could we at least get a pop shove it? Yeah, I could do I could do a pop shove it right now. I could do a kick flip, a heel flip. I could probably do a backside 180. Damn. Very, very slow. Do you still skate? No, I mean, it's just I'm just big. I'm pretty big, but I can still do a few things. Do you want to grab a skateboard? Yeah, I believe you. Is there, like, there must be like a solid gold skateboard in this office. Well, there's what is that? Is that like a leather one or is that a petrified wood Rick Owen skateboard? What's that over there? <laughs> That's a Buscemi valet. It's okay. actually um, a piece of calfskin oh, leather wrapped out of, around a skateboard. So you got can it, put your got it, got it. keys on it. But no hardware. No hardware. No hardware. Mm. <laughs> Right, we'll, we'll, I'll send you some videos. Yeah, we'll please speak do. Send us some, you guys can edit some footy. It send us some footy, some clips. Some and, footy. Yeah. I'll send some footy. The, the TF sponsor me videos so you can get some merch. Exactly. <laughs> Speaking of skateboarding, skateboard P, Pharrell, famously, some would say infamously, tried to make the 100 millimeter Bashemi sneaker part of BBC ice cream. Right. And you said, fuck off. No, <laughs> this is my shit. Does he still resent you? No. I, and I've told this story 40 times. Oh. Well done, James. <laughs> Fucking I watched the blueprint. This yeah. man claims he has a Pulitzer, but right no, no, now, no, no, no. What? No. Well, I don't know. Well, I, want, I, I don't want the story. The I want the blueprint. They told. I want the, po- well, the postscript of the story. No, no. Yeah, the story is. The story is. Well, fuck. The story is mad long, but the short story is the condensed version. Yeah, the condensed version is when I designed that shoe. I went to this meeting with Pharrell to work on ice cream. Right. And during the process, do you know what a hot corner is on your on your computer? Of course. Yeah. I hot you accidentally. Yeah. I hot cornered out and then that shoe came Ooh. up. He's like, yo, what was that? This is completely by accident. It was a complete accident. Like, whoopsie. I, 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 I do I that. Say, I wish I could say it was like whoopsie. <laughs> yeah. Like I planned it. It was not. But then. But in the steam, your whole the- life flashes in front of you because then you you see him see it. You see his reaction. He starts jumping on the table. And then you remember he was the first dude with the the croc purple croc the Birkin, Birkin yeah. and, and like he was the first dude. Blah, blah. So it kind of just all my life flash in front of me. Fast forward six months, multiple iterations of pr- samples, multiple iterations of this, multiple iterations of that. Three of the biggest songs, like he was like I'm not going to use the word washed because that's a really stupid word. But when I first met him, like not dude the 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 Emrata fucking video with the- happy. Yeah. No, that's the last one. The no, Blurred one. Lines. Well, yes. Blurred Lines was just on the radio, bro. And he was quiet before that for a while. So was Blurred time, Lines, right? then the other Daft Punk one, and then Happy comes on. So that's the. Oh, lu- uh, Up All Night to Get up Lucky. Up All Night. Yeah. yeah. Lucky. Lucky. So that nine months of me working on it, his who, who, he changed, you know, yeah. not changed as a person. His thought process changed of like what he wanted to do. Sure. I don't think he was malicious. He was just like, yo, I think we should just add this shoe into like my new line. I'm he wants to out. absorb it. And I was like, do you want to buy it from you? Or like, how does it work? Yeah. Like, does he, so I does said, he buy the I was IP? like, I was literally, I was upset and I, you were not happy. Lightly left. I just, but left you were butthurt. I was, I, I was angry because I thought it was like me and him coming together to do this shoe as a platform to do something else. Right. It wasn't like, he was like, Yo, we'll just put the shoe in my lime and we'll call it the Buscemi. And I was like, damn, bro. You're like, motherfucker, yeah, this just, is a sandwich at Uncle like, Polly's. You, you changed, Pharrell. I was like, damn, son. <laughs> you changed. Anyway. You're so, different. You're acting different, Pharrell. So <laughs> I I don't remember the details of this, but the, the smaller details were, or, or the general details were, give us a number. We'll buy the design. And then my lawyer and my brother-in-law, he came with like a one sheet of like, what he thinks this and what it was like, mil, it was like a few million dollars. 
Not were you kidding. were you thinking like what? Was, I said there a if you gave me two million dollars or whatever, I'm just making a number up. It's yours. Did he ever approach that? Yeah. No, nah, it was like like nah, like fucking stupid. Like no, nah, <laughs> no, there was no. It was it was like and it was like I'll give you thing. I'll give you my pearl necklace. Like, yeah. The funny thing. You know, we made a hundred million dollars off that shoe. I don't know. I don't know what the number. Big oh, fucking flex alert. Yeah, exactly. But you. I'm well, just saying, like over the time, one one million over for every six, millimeter, seven years, eight years. You right, know? right. So over, you, you don't regret. 100? You obviously don't regret the decision because he was giving you a raw no, deal. No, but. no. But then I'm thinking. I'm also thinking too, and no offense to Pharrell or any celebrities. Respectfully, I think, res- much respect. I think because it came out through me and unknown, made it better. When unknown. I mean, I guess I wasn't unknown at the time, but I wasn't like fucking. You were I'm an not, if you know, you know type. Guy. I wasn't like back then. I was like known on Instagram, you know, when right. Instagram was like, let's we should get into how it was so popping like in 2012. <laughs> and it's not now. No. Oh, you like, mean popping being zero like, algorithm, zero yeah, paid yeah, yeah. media, zero. It was just like 40,000 followers. 30,000 likes per photo. It was like, yes. It was like you. The engagement was. Engagement was delicious. Popping. It was delicious. <laughs> thousand, thousand comments. It was delicious. Did that, um, was that the first time? Like, and that was kind of how Bashemi like started popping off. Like, and before what I'm saying, let me finish my point. Yeah, oh, yeah. When a celebrity comes out with something. What time is it? You good? When a celebrity comes out with something. It's always like whack, kind of. Well, yeah, I mean, it's also like and not. Like, it depends, name, depends name on celebrity. A celebr- uh, name a celebrity fashion brand that you would ever wear. <laughs> Does Jordan count? Okay, okay, that's different. Uh, no, that's an athlete. Doesn't count. I don't know. Ye is probably the first one to like do that's it fair. right. But again, a musician. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Yay. Yes. Yeah, but I get what but, you're saying for the most but part. For, yeah. But for Lawrence ordered all the Yeezy hoodies, <laughs> every color. Okay, that's why I think and they're all for, too that's short. Why I thought Pharrell was the right one. You know. Yeah. yeah he actually it wasn't like well, pioneer. It wasn't Kevin Durant. You know. <laughs> Shout out to Kevin Durant. Yeah. Shout out Slim Reaper. <laughs> I lo- I fuck with Kevin Durant, but like if Kevin Durant came out with a brand. Right. No offense to Kevin Durant. No, it's yeah. just a little. It's gonna be dog shit. Well, it's a yeah. co-sign. I guess musician like it look like Justin. Like Tim, it, remember Justin like Timberlake's dip, fashion line? Mats. Yeah, that's great. But sure. it's, is it merch or is yeah, it, that's merch. But Yeezy's real design shit, right? I guess we're Pharrell about. never. I felt like Pharrell almost even like BBC was. That's neat. It was still. It's neat, really kind of like merchy kind of stuff. Yeah, and also that's like he's getting the. You know the juice from Nigo, like, I, and not right. that Pharrell doesn't have good ideas, and we're not trying to disparage that genius, but like, it's yeah, it's a different thing. right. So that was you. my decision, and and I think it worked out. You know, I think okay, so. <laughs> bring that all back around. He was part of the GQ Man of the Year. They did it at the Ebell Theater. I'll never forget it. We're on the step and repeat. We get in. We everyone sees each other. I know his whole team. Yeah, like I know him. Right, Walked Philippe up to me. He gave me the Loic. illest dap, dapped me up, congratulated. Water me. under the bridge. Not even. A tidal wave under the bridge. Fucking yeah. Well, that would, okay. he's a classiest. <laughs> that dude's the classiest dude in in, yeah. in the game. Facts. That's how his skin looks so good, man. Yeah, his skin looks. Well, well, he has no hate. hate. Out, he has no hate. Human heart. race. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, skin skin care. Extraterrestrial. Well, from the hundred millimeter shoe, you've been involved in fucking seemingly everything like whiskey, hot sauce, tea, clothes, your own mm-hmm. brand, everyone else's brand. Uncle Paul. He's like, what's what's the John Buscemi gut test for really like. What passes muster for a project that, you know, registered yeah. your mind? Like, I want to get involved with this. The checklist. Like, what, are the, what, are the, what are the boxes it has to tick off? Well, yeah. The checklist. Number one checklist is quality. Okay. It has to be high quality. It has to be thought out from the product side, whether it's food or an actual object. Thoughtfulness. There has to be thoughtfulness around it. There has to be some type of story that I'm not trying to sound like it's cliche. This is probably what everyone says, but you really need to know who's involved it's like the who what where and when is it a, but is it like a feeling it's all of it it's like a feeling in your nuts or is it like a there's rubric also a feeling. no no there's definitely a feeling because i get approached by people that have dope shit right we have a lot of deal flow here we see a lot of Ooh, deal, deal flow i, I fucking like, like that i'm gonna seal that expeditiously <laughs> Please. TF got a lot of deal flow happening. There's a lot of deal flow. Spawn con for yeah. Fucking Yo, whoever. You do this commercial about mental whoever health. has the biggest bag, dude. <laughs> Coke of deal Pepsi. Flow. I like that. Um, okay. What percentage of deal flow gets shut down? Like when people pitch, like there's ninety percent, ninety five. Got to be ninety nine. Yeah, you're so busy. Ninety five. Ninety five percent. You have no mic. No one can hear you, dog. <laughs> <laughs> this man doesn't know Shout how podcasting Han- works, but we're turning down ninety five percent of the deal flow. Uh, my <laughs> my gallery said ninety five percent. Yeah, 
His bag man. No. One of those. <laughs> Shout uh, out to Jake. Jacob one of those Hanover. ideas in the five percent. Thank you, Jacob. <laughs> one of those ideas in the five percent. Truff sauce. Right. Let's talk about this. How okay. much truff? How many bottles of truff do you consume in a year? I I'm around one a month, so that's twelve. Okay. That's a family. That's a family. A family usage. Bottle. That's family usage. Right. So. Is it? A, is that, is that the big that. boy or is are you? T- is I just it? do the regular size. Okay. I don't have the Magnum. We do make a Magnum. Do you put it on everything? I do not. Uh, I'm usually a morning truff guy. Eggs, like eggs. avocados. One of, that's me, dude. A thousand percent. Just the I'm egg addicted. By the way, me too. It's fucking. It's insane. Have you tried the tomato sauce? No, but I really want to. But okay. I've had. I've tried all Target. the varieties of the. Um, it is in Target. Damn. Fucking. Shout it's out to in Target. We were talking about it. it's like it's in my local like food emporium. It's like everywhere. It's food emporium. <laughs> food emporium. <laughs> shit is a beast. That's some New York shit. Lawrence. No, I got to try the the. I mean, I'm going to beg for some free shit later in the show. But yeah, I need to try some Easy. of the, the tomato sauce. Jacob, we have to. I like all the variety of the. Get everyone everything. Fuck. Yeah, I love that. The way that we first got connected, I think recently it was over Luso. Yes. Luso cloud. Shoes. Damn. Beam me up, Scotty. These are like, you literally feel like you're floating on them. How many iterations? And I know this is kind of based on like the notion of while traveling throughout the world, you know, you're staying at the finest hotels, you get these hotel slippers, right? Which are fire just to like pat around the room, run to the fucking pool and whatever. Yeah. How many iterations do you get to go through before you landed on the perfect Luso final product? Because this, this really is like walking on sunshine. Yeah. yeah it but, lives up to the hype. I think in terms of comfort, for sure. I appreciate that. Uh, the, it's funny that you mentioned that because. You know, those slides that are next to your, you know, five star hotel bed, you know, when when you get to the hotel. Yeah, they're pretty comfortable. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. For what they are. But they're but they're flimsy. They're, they're mad flimsy. They're, they're made to be thrown they're away. Crazy. They're crazy flimsy. They're yeah, meant yeah. to be thrown away. So it was hard to say, hey, how do you make this thing that you can wear like in the quote unquote street? To have that type of comfort, it wasn't easy to get where we needed to go. And how long is a process? It took are about we talking? a year. Yeah. Okay. It took about a year of back and forth. And also we had COVID and all this other crap. Fuck bullshit. Yeah. A lot of bullshit. But another thing is that that slipper that you have next to your bed that you get at the hotel is probably like cost like two, three, three bucks to make. If yeah. that. Bro. Yeah. I mean, if who that. knows? So we didn't want to charge too much and we, we didn't want to like lose money. So we had to like really you have to play like both sides of it. You know what right. I mean? We wanted to be mad comfortable. And, you know, I think we achieved it. How many iterations did you have to go through? Like before you were like, okay, this is comfortable enough. I mean, there was a first, (laughs) I would say it was probably five or six different iterations. So the first was the design kind of cue iterations, like to get the shape right, look right. Those are two or three. And then we used different silicones, different, different foams with something like different EVA. It's just like a mix. It's triple stacked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You get the, the latex. You have the foam and you have the EVA all just like working together. Did you? Here's another thing real quick. Yeah. A lot of those super comfortable slides and shit that you buy like on Alibaba or Instagram <laughs> and shit. They're not made good. They're fucking. You don't fucking up. say. I know, but I'm just <laughs> saying they're yeah, mad comfortable, though. Right. Really? right. Trick. But then they fall apart. Right. No, if the, your body falls apart without you knowing <laughs> oh. it. No, I'm saying like you walk on those super comfortable shoes all day. You're like, oh, my God, they're comfortable. Like you're you're. Your back, your fucking spine, your <laughs> hips, they're all getting, it's getting fucked. Did you get like, this there, is like anatomically correct. Is there, there's like science behind this? Well, it's science on the arch for your foot and the way the, the, you know, the forefoot dips and like, like a regular Nike, like any shit. This shit it's is, not, it's not even is, that hard to do. The ergonomics most, are on point. Right. The ergonomics are on point. But most guys that make these shoes don't give a fuck. They just try and drink <laughs> right. something mad comfortable. Right, right, right. We make it like, soft. Let's right. just like not, I don't want your hip to fall apart. Do right, you right. like so... Does the way your mind work? Are you like, yo, there's a gap in the world where like the perfect slipper doesn't exist. The perfect like a truffle hot sauce doesn't exist. Like a, a California yeah. whiskey doesn't exist. That's Let all me it tackle is. it. You're filling gaps spaces. left and right. I'm a white space filler. That's nice. It. I just live in the white spaces. I live in mm. the gaps. I'm a pink space filler myself. It's like Gretzky. <laughs> I'm going where the puck is, you know, going to be. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Back door where the puck is. Yeah. <laughs> You're not, not chasing pucks. I'm going to where the puck's I got coming. Gretzky in my ears. Yeah. So like, what else? What do, what do you think right now is like missing? I think that there's a huge underserved um, population of Republican consumers. <laughs> really? I'm not even kidding. Republicans oh. buy sneakers too. Yeah. Michael Jordan said I that. I feel like Wayne Gretzky. I basketball. feel like there's like uh, there's like the Trump. I don't want to get all political. But right. Right. You're asking me what what the real talk is. What I'm what I'm trying. You're just to about talking about conservative America. Yeah. Like conservative is your, America. Is this your golf shit? <laughs> so so conservative America. I feel like all right. Whatever. There's there's conservatives. In every space, golf, whatever. Right, right, right. 
But I just feel like now creators are so like anti Republican or like conservative. And I'm not talking about like wacko, super right wing, right, fucking, about uh, QAnon or whatever. Uh, tiki torch yeah. QAnon. Just regular like guys I grew up with or girls I grew up with in like New York or you talk about like Main Street. Yeah, America. like Main Street people. They're not not even Main Street. Even if you're like I mean, it's so funny. It's like, is there like cool But what are those but what are those people do they have good taste? Yes. Isn't their whole thing? Well, they that's have what money. I'm trying they to have say. Money. Do they have good? But I would argue that, like, do people like that care about cool shit? I mean, they no, but I'm not talking. Who do you think is buying? Oh, you're talking about what am I talking about? You don't know a category I'm talking okay. about. You're just talking about making money. I'm saying fools. Yes. <laughs> well, every business, we're capitalists. We want to make money, right? Sure. But we also we also care about giving away money. And we we have charity components right. to this right. business. Let's as not well. get too, so what do you, what do you think say, they want? Ralph. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, Ralph, Grayson. maybe. I mean, Laura Piana. They want off white too. I mean, I don't know. You ever go to you ever, if you go if you go to a bar in Florida and see an off white sweatshirt? <laughs> yeah, do, a hey, lot. do you? I mean, it exists. Yeah, yes, a lot. You see it. You guys aren't in Florida. <laughs> You're not at. In we're Austria. not out here. No, we're not, not in, in the Houston. trenches. Of Are you in Houston? <laughs> we're not outside in the swamp. Well, I'm in Houston. You're not my, in Oklahoma my, City. Tonight. We're not in Oklahoma City. <laughs> no. So you know what I'm saying? We're, like, we're bi coastal media elites. Yeah, come on. You're at. Exactly. <laughs> coastal fucking... media elite. Yeah, we're snobs, bro. We're bi coast sexual, man. Right. <laughs> so anyway, you want to so what do you want to sell these people? Finish the point. I'm really curious where this is going. I don't know. That's what I'm trying to sell you. Okay. So the, 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 the answer is I do not know. But these fools love the to be answer, grifted. The these answer, fools yes. love to be fleeced. The answer, the answer is <laughs> I just feel like I want to do it also to bring people to back together. Oh, mm. I see. Do you understand what I'm saying? While There's making money. There. Okay, I gotta get a, I gotta give I got a good example for you. Love it. Okay. Let's go. I was approached to do a burger concept by a big company. Ooh. They asked me what a what company would we do? would know. Were they the king of burgers? No, no, it's a, it's a real estate company that you would not oh. know. So just, you wouldn't be having picture, it your way. Picture a real estate company that owns massive Evergrand, small like Simon properties. Got it. Okay, but not Simon. Fannie Mae, <laughs> Fannie Freddie Ma- Mac, Freddie Mac, no, Freddie Mac, <laughs> a Freddie Big Mac. I see what you. I see yeah. What you okay. So anyway, get approached. So so Did real estate burger? company <laughs> real estate companies are having a hard time because. They can't get tenants because people are scared of long leases, whatever. Yeah. So, so real estate companies are now hiring people like me to say, hey, bring in a concept or we'll start something from scratch. Mm-hmm. So a lot of the, the real estate that they have are in southern states, especially Texas. Got it. I said, let's start a burger company called Reagan's. Called what? Reagan's. Reagan's. <laughs> and is there, is there there's crack in the burgers? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ronald Reagan did crack. You invented it, bro. Yeah, oh, you kidding yeah. me? Oh yeah, Arlo, yeah. Do the Oliver North fries, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but you see what I'm saying? Yeah, Reagan. There's HIV nostalgia. Shakes. When you're here, you're racist. <laughs> Reagan's <laughs> trickle down. But it's, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Part, That's not so true, though. No, I'm just know? being a dickhead. I know on you're Mike, being a dick. I'm, I'm no, and I'm just saying. That's what I'm saying. Like I'm trying to bring people back together. I just feel like it's an underserved. Like someone asked me, you asked me, bro, I will question. tell you this. Not a single black person is buying a burger. Any person of color is buying a burger at a place called Reagan. I don't agree with you. OK, but that's OK. Yeah. Well, this is a dialogue, John. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a, a dialogue. Wait, with so what happened to this? What about this all idea? the what about all my like the Jamaican neighbors I had in Uniondale that were all Republicans? They just went away. They're still around. Well, I guess that's yeah, there's Lawrence. a huge population of uh, yeah, like minority Republicans in the in the country. Yeah, that are like massively conservative. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's about just for them. Cre- it's about abortion and religion. American and, creativity yeah. is skewed towards liberalism. Sure. Which is fine. I'm totally fine with that. That's but I just think it shouldn't be that way. It should be just for. Well, maybe the new Top Gun film is for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> that's just gonna not slap i feel like but, no, yeah but, but the new mission impossible i mean Mile, miles impossible. teller is no tom cruise but yeah um <laughs> yeah wait so what happened to this concept it was just a it was just like a it was a glimmer in your nuts and it never came to be didn't or, pass the bashemi gut yeah the nut um, test, nut no, test. <laughs> the, the uh, real estate company passed oh, oh shit. really they thought it was too reactionary they thought it was too polarizing yeah really which is which, totally which right. you're trying to say is it's trying to bring i think together. that is right that is right because i would okay if First of all, everything comes down to product. So if it's fire, right? Sure. If it's delicious, wouldn't you burger. go check out Reagan's? You yeah. Fucking go. Yeah. If it's if it's tasty, and if who cares? everyone at the at the checkout looked like uh like a uh, fucking Point Break and had like old dead <laughs> presidents masks on, you'd go and see that. 
<laughs> Let me get some tri- extra. You tri- go fuck with that. Is that that would be policy? You have to. Everyone works has to, to wear a Reagan wear a mask. De- you have to wear a dead Republican um, a president. <laughs> Let mask. me get some extra trickle down sauce. Shout out to Abe Lincoln. <laughs> where do you think streetwear is headed though? Because like you're talking about, like you you have the thirty five thousand foot view, where you're seeing that like well, streetwear. Yeah, yeah streetwear. Generally speaking, I think streetwear is going to be just. I don't think streetwear exists really much anymore. Really. Like in terms of like the definition that like to me, it's like either you're a fashion brand or you're doing merch. Interesting. You know, like I see all like my son. Well, my son. How old is he? He's 13. So he's kind of like, but he's like going on 15 kind of guy. He was like Supreme and Palace and all this kind of skate stuff. Now what? And now he's like norm core. He wants to go to Carhartt every five minutes. Carhartt mm-hmm. whip. Whip. Yeah. Ooh, whip. In progress. whip. So he wants to dress like he's fucking gonna. He wants to do blue collar stolen sheet valor. rock up. Like, yeah. Yeah. Looks like, like me right now. Yeah. You want to put up some sheet rock, <laughs> Yo, yeah. which I fuck with. And like, maybe you're a janitor. Yeah. He's not. He's Except a podcaster. I, I can't do anything. This man, <laughs> has, so, this man has the softest hands you're in like LA a right carpenter. now. You're the janitor for the carpenter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> Which is great. Yeah, thanks, sweeping man. up wood shavings. Yeah, and you're still, you yeah, know, who am I? You st- you're still looking for like the foams. <laughs> yeah. you, still need a, you still need a pair of foams. He's looking for pink foams, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out all my mo. Um, Damn, so you think streetwear where it's it's is it like it's just evolved into like something that something new or it's just gone? I just don't see like streetwear was like created more like by fashion-y kind of like art nerdy kind of in my opinion most streetwear brands were a mix it was like if you had a skate brand you're a skate brand if you had a if you're a musician you're merch like, it's like what, pigeon hold or whatever like 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 when triple five soul came out or a life or what are these street brands that i cared about pata or if you own it's like okay so i sell sneakers now i'm a streetwear brand like interesting why, yeah. why is that like yeah i feel like streetwear brands are just like things are they trying to break out of that pigeonhole themselves yeah i just I, yeah I, I don't know if it's a pigeonhole like i'm just lost and see what a streetwear brand is you know like when whoever made the philly blunts t-shirt back in the days so like, <laughs> or the, the like hermes streetwear. Okay. the hermes homies flip. yeah karma <laughs> yeah. loop type shit yeah exactly. brian what's his name yeah brian lichtenberg yeah the Lichtenberg what's, brothers. What's, no shout out for what, Ryan. What's what's what, what's that guy up to? We don't know. <laughs> yeah, we don't care. We don't, we don't care. I <laughs> should not have asked because no one gives a fuck. You bought karmaloop.com. Okay, like, cool. what, like what, Noah. Yeah. That's probably considered a streetwear brand. Yeah. Like that's just like, you know, Brendan's like a like a veteran like fashion designer that yeah. worked for Supreme. Right. Well, he's like, like is he, it a streetwear brand? I guess so. Well, it's, kind of, it's, it's on his, the street. It's this in-between space where it's like yeah. you have the logo stuff, but then you have so much more. You have a multiple it. options, ALD too. Like it depending on the kind of anti customer. anti-establishment too, I think is more streetwear. Like okay. ALD and Noah and and some of these brands have that. They're like they don't wholesale. They're like right. come buy it at my shop. Like, yeah, direct buy to it consumer. Online. Yeah, come. I thought you were going to say anti social social club. Anti social <laughs> social club. Like that's a digital. What's like, Neek up? To? Yo, Neek, days. pull up on no, us shout right out now. To Neek, shout out to Faso, all those guys. Ian. What's Neek up to? He's just in Vegas, just like driving, building cars. Driving that oh yeah, just around. living living the dream. Oh he's yeah, global fucking millionaire. Yeah, it's a fucking Talk troll. Like grift of the shout century. out to every troll. No, shout I out to the world's fastest world. shipper, Neek Lurk. Yeah, respect all grifters. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what's the corniest thing in fashion right now, though? Like, what's something you look at and you're just like, I yeah. wish this was not the way that it was. Yeah, let's get negative. Bell bottoms. Okay. Oh, like, like flares, like, like flare like fuck flares, like a kid wearing like flared wrangler polyester wranglers with like a saint yeah. laurent boot like you hate or like the, the, the zip that people do like halfway up and then like let i'm not so bad feet. mad at that one okay it's more like i'm lazy like, basketball <laughs> player high yeah. I'm okay high. sure i'm too high to zip it up right right yeah. right or it's more like maybe it's almost the same as like putting one leg up nas like queen sure Church. right it's a little is that the one style out. trend you want to die like or is there anything else where you know I'm you I like mad effects. flares i, mean, I like I get it but like i, I see some out here i it's cocaine cowboy shit. Yeah. Yeah. I, I hate it, like honest. I hate. I don't like this like like Hedy Slamon like grunge look that Kanye had on 10 years ago. Like if you're wear if you have a flannel and ripped jeans on still, it's like grow I don't up know, guys. Grow guys, up. You need to, yeah. Like you need to just is your son putting you on to like the whole TikTok fucking kid like all the TikTok kids like how they're a doing little that? bit. Of, he'll be like whatever. But like we'll, he'll be fucking around or in the house like looking at it. I'll check it. He's not really that much on it. He was. He was on it a little bit, but the from the fashion side, it's only you know what I see on the street. But he, I, d- I'm here on the street for a reason. Like I, you could see that little window. You see yeah. what like people are wearing. 
You know, yeah, this is this the, is the quite a little the murdered out uh, Dodge Chargers rolling up on you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, Wait, and so does your son put does your son put you on? Does he put you on to cool shit? A little bit. I mean, I put him on to shit. Does he think you're cool? Like, I know he... Bari. Like he's like, I need Vila. I need some friends. I need Bar. I need Vila. <laughs> I need you know? I need V-Lone kids. <laughs> exactly. No, he's like a man now. He has like yeah. hair in his dick. He's thirteen. Oh damn! I hope you told him that he's he like should not wear Vilone. <laughs> Scary. Uh, but he does he does he think you're cool? Is he like? I think so. I think so. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Because you put him on to cool. I shit. I put him on to a few things, like you know, skipping the supreme line and shit. Oh right, right. You like can that type. You can fl- do some. There's you some, can some pull flex some flexes. Shit. Yeah, There's a little yeah. flexes. But I'm not trying to go too hard for him. But he <laughs> actually pays. He'll kick flip. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He can do a kick flip. But you can too. I yeah. can too. That's that's cool. If your dad can do a kick flip. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's what James money. Jebby can do. Yeah, right. He rides in the back of a Bentley to school. That I mean, he's cooler than me. Right. Yeah. <laughs> your Damn. chauffeur he rides in like an school. uber in the he sits in the back he sits in the back like an asshole that's disrespectful bro Damn. he's like i'm trying to do my homework back here there's more room i'm okay, like yeah totally. right now he's, he's watching like, the tv in the headrest yeah. <laughs> oh my god dude. is there gonna be a moment when he becomes like well when he became cooler than you and you're just like fuck i'm washed i feel like he's already cooler than me now yeah so the, was there a moment well, where it's each like, one it's each one teach one yeah he has like you know he has like Supreme t-shirts have been washed a hundred times with the little, you know, the Hanes mm-hmm. and then those pants and a pair of like, you know, he swagged out. He swagged out. He got a pair of like Union Jordans. Mm-hmm. Sick. Speaking of family, is your cousin Steve Bashemi? Is he on flow team? Yeah. His son's on my flow team. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't. I mean, Steve, he's older than me, much older than me. We're still not in really Brooklyn, close. Right? Yeah. Well, we've met and but he's still cool. in, he's still in Brooklyn. He's in Brooklyn. Yeah. yeah. Were you guys we've ever set, really ever? Because no. it's crazy to be like, because that's such 20, an iconic dude. Well, that's 20 like, years older than me. Oh, shit. 20? Co- yeah. Damn. He's yeah. old. He's 64. I'm 44. Jeez. But he's on a flow team, but the son is. Yeah. What is he? What do you send him? The whiskey? <laughs> no, we send him the, we send him, well, actually, I haven't sent them stuff in a while, but we send them Buscemi stuff. They want Buscemi stuff, right? They're right. Buscemi's. Obviously. I mean, they're, you know, it's a clan. And bro. Steve's not into like, he's like, you know, although a lot of these actors, you he's like, like Robert Slope. De Niro walking in Tribeca. You're like, dude, what do you like? You yeah. just shop at Conway. Like where, <laughs> he just DDL. Daniel R-E-I, Day-Lewis R-E-I, is the R-E-I, only one. Everyone looks like REI like a yeah. Sales, yeah. sales rack. Or they're in like, like I'm like, a, I dress like a, a fucking grip. Yeah. Right. Besides, besides like Robin like Williams, op. rest in peace. Obviously, iconic personal style. And then obviously DDL. Daniel Day-Lewis has great. He dresses like this, you know, like your kid, basically. But I love it. I guess he's retired. So uh, Willem Dafoe as well. Anyway, shout out, shout out Steve Buscemi. So you can't get him on the podcast, is what you're saying? No, I can't get him on the podcast. Damn, Damn fuck. Yeah. All right, well, it's been good. See you later, John. Thanks a lot. No, no, John. Seriously, talking though. Bucket list. Let's talk bucket list. Is there a dream collab that you would love to fucking get your hands on? Like, yeah. who do you want to collaborate with the most? Is it Ralph? Let's manifest. Put it out there. Yeah, I mean, I, I've I've always had the dream to do something with Ralph. You know, that's probably even possible if there's a will, there's a way. Um, Nike, not so much anymore. I think I, I, I really that'd really be poetic to, though. Before I was, I mean, after I was, after I was, see glow, lead. that's a glow up. I can't. I don't know if I could even mention this because it was supposed to be like I don't even give a fuck. But I had a project with them before. Um, a few people got asked to leave. Oh, Ooh, really? You guys can. We'll go from. We'll take it. From take there. it from there. Yeah. There's a few people that asked to leave that organization. Hmm. Like in the like recent round of. People. Yeah, like. Well, yeah, they were going. They were they were going through it. They were down bad for a shout while. Shout out to Alyssa Milano. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know yeah, what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Interesting. No, but anyway, um, I had a project going on with them, and that just fell through. Dot I was actually fine. working on it with uh, Stefan Janowski. Oh shit! Ooh, which is a the Velcro the King. Yeah. yeah. Damn, that would have been so poetic to go from a cease and assist right. federal lawsuit That's to right. a fucking collaboration to back in the building in a big way. Yeah, I'm like, I'd like to work with like a a. a there's two. There's two. Well. If you ask me, I got a uh, Hermes would be really. Oh, really come amazing. on, bro. Have they ever done a collaboration? I think they have with artists. Right. Know, and they do their like, like their object. The, yeah. Yeah. Day, the, the day Lewis. Like, and like saddles and shit. <laughs> they do things with artists, yeah. but it would be cool to do something with them. And then do you know Pinning Farina? No. no, it's an Italian design house. They designed like every Ferrari from like oh, okay. fifty. It's on the. It's that like industrial frame. design. They do industrial design. Um, it'd be cool to work with them. Sick. Any golf? Any golf? Like, what do you when you golf? Like, what's your are well, you like a Nocta guy now? <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm on Team Nocta. They sent me some stuff. <laughs> I saw. They Is it good? You like it? It's kind of cool. I so kind of like it. You know what's funny? 
I don't th- and and shout out to Drake and Oliver and all them. The general, it's not golf. It's just Nocta. It's like wind it's bigger than right? golf. No, exactly. So it's Nocta. The first one was like for like security guards. Did you see the first campaign? <laughs> yeah, yeah, or like yeah. your crew that yeah, yeah, that can't it's for the shooters. It's for the shooters. It's for the shooters. It's for the roadmen. It's a, yeah, it's for the. It's like the roadmen for chubs, dude. Which I actually <laughs> liked because it looked cool and it's right. It looks like yeah. it looks like you're like you know you're in Belgium or something. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> You know, like you're, that. you're a bouncer at Burger. You're a bouncer <laughs> at a club in Belgium. Yeah. yeah, like that's what you wear. This one, and people don't know, his uncle, his mother's brother, was a massive golfer. He died. He, this is who he dedicated like he the line dedicated to. Yeah. this to him. Yeah. But essentially, it's just like a dope windbreaker. <laughs> It's well, not for, I dedicate it's this not like, dope like, windbreaker to my he, uncle. He, you're wearing. <laughs> if you tuck that in, you're a golfer. Like it's yeah, golf, sure. Golf, you can kind of just get you away see, with. You see the collar. Well, I guess now it's different. Right? Now it's a little different. Like you can wear a windbreaker without a collar. Yeah, motherfuckers wear like. Did you get the? Did you get the sunglasses? And, I, I got the, the sunglasses. Oof. The hat. Damn, I want the sunglasses. I know sunglasses fucking rule. Yeah. Well, yo, shout out Drizzy and shout out friend of the show Oliver. Yeah, Oliver. We don't. Oliver, what a what a what a ledge. What a guy, bro. Talk about you know. Open invite onto the podcast. No, I mean, open, open invite. We'll kick John the fuck out of here right yeah, now if you want to I'll, I'll, just, I'll throw the mic to Oliver, no problem. <laughs> speaking of Drake, speaking, we talked about white spaces. We talked about pink spaces. Speaking of Drake. <laughs> Let's talk meats and cheeks, John. Yeah. Johnny boy, sucking and fucking. Mm-hmm. LA, it's a very particular town. <laughs> Who gets more pussy in LA? Is it food guys or is it fashion guys? Definitely food guys. Really? Yeah. 100%. Not even close. It's not even in the same league. Yeah, because like bitches not that. even though that this town is so unstylish that if you like look good, you're going to be like it's like being. Well, a I think it's that these big bitches, fish in a small pond. These so bitches want to post their food grams, right? They want to show off that. Well, it's a way, right a way to a woman's heart is. I think so. Mouth. Yeah. Like, I, and also like some of the guys out here doing the food thing, they're like, you know, working out. They're, they're looking good. They got they, they got, got cool. Tattoos. They're kind of like. It's a whole norm. And it's also kind of like a norm core swag. Vibe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like if you're a fashion dude, like. You might get more other stuff. Mm. Okay. Yeah. More, more D. Mm. Yeah. Mm. John was using the microphone to <laughs> pantomime his uh, nice, robust hog. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Catch so if you're coming to LA and you're trying to get some fucking badusi, mm. get into food, fuck fashion. John, how much money do you make? <laughs> Transition Enough. God. <laughs> Enough. Yeah. Enough. We practice radical salary transparency on this show. With that said, you know no how much one ever answers. On, you know how much but, we make on the Patreon. Yeah. But is there is there a number that you'd like like to aspire to money wise? Like, well, how much money would you like to make? Yeah. How much money would I like to make? Where would you be actually? I happy? think I think it's not <laughs> necessarily a number. Ooh, it's because I've already it's I'm a grind already, set. Well, I'm already there. I already I already hit the number that I wanted. Was last year your best year ever? Well, uh, or I because of COVID, the, maybe I, not. No, I think the best the best year is yet to come. Oh, Ooh, but the right. best this is yet, yet to, come. to come. Absolutely, <laughs> I've had a couple of good years. You know, yeah, yeah. Um, just a few. Yeah, a dozen. I've had a couple. Years. Of Life's years. been good, I've had a good so decade. far. I've had a good decade. Oh, yo, I like that, dude. You're in the black. You measure your life by the decade. decade. Um, but I think like a trillion. Not, no, nine, nine, nine figure sounds right. What is that? Yeah. Like eight? Is that ten million? Is that yeah. hundred million? 100, what is it? That's a hundred. hundred plus. Hundred plus. Hundred what do you like plus. to spend your money on besides trips to Mexico for single you know, meals? It's funny, we just ha- we were talking about this earlier. I get the most joy about spending money on other people, and I swear to God, that's the not boys. Just some bullshit. Not even just the boys. Family. Yeah. Well, family. The Your cool boys, ass son. Um, my my crew, us. Yeah, I was gonna say you got two fucking. Yeah, if you guys have an endowment, I can. I can. <laughs> this wrong fits is, there an, is there is there an endowment that we? Can, I don't know, no. dude. <laughs> well, we can start one. We have yeah, a war chest. One. We have yeah, a war we have chest. a nice little war chest. Just sitting there collecting no interest. Yeah, really. Yeah. Yep. Just but it's for checking travel, account. It's chilling. You've been traveling a lot. It's fuck around yeah. money. It's for the strip club. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Best strip club in LA. Mm, body shop. Mm-hmm. All right. Do you take your car there too? Yeah, they have valet. They <laughs> wash it for you. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Fire. They'll wash your car. You get out. This car is clean. That's what's cool about LA. It's always about <laughs> everything. Yeah, everything yeah, is a car. Yeah, you go yeah, to yeah. The Grove. In the movies. Wash your car. Yeah. You go to the hotel. <laughs> wash your car. Country club. Wash your car. <laughs> That's kind of so. Uh, we were talking about Bunkle Paulies. If you just, if you stay no, home, get a, no, get a, get a sandwich. Get a, We'd like to. We'd like to. That'd be fucking. We'd like to get there. One day, wipe it down with some semolina. Yeah. <laughs> Motherfuckers are the cleanest cars in the country. John, you had a great decade. You came onto <laughs> the only podcast that matters and fucking killed it. Yeah. Congratulations. That being said, we'd love to, before we get into the paywall content and before yeah. you uh, fly to Italy tonight or some shit, <laughs> we'd love to offer up some constructive criticism from our hearts, from our loins to you. 
take it or leave it. Highly suggest you take it. I'll go first, then Lawrence will go. Yep. Yo, so we mentioned going to Italy in November. Bro, come with us and be our consigliere. Our open, guide. Open our, invite, dog. Our spirit guide. When, when, when is it? November. The before, week before Thanksgiving. Before Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Before okay. Thanksgiving. Are you All available? Right. That's possible. It's always possible. Yes. I mean, listen, bro. Oh, my goodness. We don't need you to send a text to Massimo when you can just fucking we pull up yeah. on him. With you know, him right you there. many times we'll ghost tag you? <laughs> yeah, bro. IG story. How are we getting there? Are we flying there? Or? How yes. else? No, we're taking a boat, <laughs> dog. What the fuck are you driving about? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're, getting that, we're getting that fucking Steve Urkel what, car. What, what what cabin in the plane are we in? We, we oh, in bro, we're flying. Oh, we in the First middle? business, whatever you want to yeah. call it. We're, come on. Bro. Delta. Well, yo, fuck Delta, Delta 1. We're on Delta 2. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't made a right turn into an airplane in like 15 years. <laughs> Bars. <laughs> I actually, we did fly Delta 1 We did here, Delta 1. I, I did accidentally uh, faint right before. They're like, no, 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 this way. Yeah. Huh. Excuse me. Yeah. Oh, I'm not used fake. to this lifestyle. That pump fake. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, you know, to keep the Pull out flight game. attendants on their toes. Yeah. Um, a little juke. Yeah. A little razzle dazzle. John, this one is <laughs> fucking simple, dog. I am a trough acolyte fanatic. I'm a right? trough virgin, by the way. I've never had it. I, well, you're fucking. Let's bozo, change that. So I'm not surprised to hear that. Let's change, that. change that. Yo, you need, a f- you know, honestly, let me open this up to the boys. You need faces. You need ambassadors, bro. Hire us to be the faces of truff. We are fucking spicy. We say shit that we regret all the time. We know how to fucking pop off. We know how to put asses in seats. And you can pay us in a lifetime supply of fucking sauce. And we're done. Sauce right. up. Done. We'll write the deal up. <laughs> write it up. Jacob, write the deal, dog. <laughs> Again, Yo, no microphone. No one can hear two you. Two bullet points. That's it. <laughs> lifetime of truff. Instagram posts. <laughs> <laughs> just, just Instagram posts. John. Where can the kids follow you on? Yeah, what do you want to plug, bro? Now the floor is yours. Uh, well, you can follow me, John Bush- at John Buscemi. You can follow us at Sauce Truff. Mm-hmm. Follow the whiskey brand, www.ca, Wolves Whiskey, California. What's Buscemi Sportswear real quick? You, t- you post a little oh, you teaser that? of that. You saw that? Yeah. I saw Sports that. with <laughs> the emphasis on lunch. Ooh, I like Really? That. I like that, dude. I like that. <laughs> that's a good yo. That's, just do it, dude. That's the, <laughs> just eat it. Just yeah, eat it, right? bro. Just, just fucking just scarf it. that shit down. So we're rebooting Buscemi. That's why I'm going back to uh, Italia. Italia. We're Father gonna talk Wind. about the next. Um, so we want to do a like a real sportswear line that you can work work out in, play sports and et et cetera. Lunch, yeah, yeah. Work, but it's play. more about yeah. it's. But the, the it's not really about like high level athletics right it's more about like the leisurely oh yes. the leisurely pace yeah of an Fellas athletic lunch before lunch and before brunch and before dinner i love that mm. hey let's go play let's Bocci. go play let's go play doubles tennis yeah before we go eat carbone pickle sure ball. pickle yeah. ball before let's the go play yeah let's play pickleball in my backyard before i have these steaks prepared. Yeah. Fuck yes. Before I have so you don't want to you don't want to overexert yourself too much. Right. Because you don't want to sweat in those clothes, Mm-mm. but you want the clothes to be enough activity where you can play the sport and like have some room to eat. Yeah, Ooh. you want to you want to fucking look the part, dude. I'm gonna shit my pants on the Los Feliz uh, Hill staircase this morning, so I don't if only you had some case. Buscemi sportswear. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> shit wicking technology. Wick the shit right off my ass. John, <laughs> why, thank why? you for coming on ta- to the only too podcast. Much ta- too much tacos? Too no, much too much, uh, not enough tacos. Too much yeah. coffee too much and nothing go. else. Not enough Truff Taco Bell. Yeah, Collab exactly. of the century. Millennium. <laughs> Let's go. Nay, millennium. Loaded nacho fries. John, thank you for John, coming thank on you so much. The only podcast that matters. Chef, hit that motherfucking super thug. Around the English Channel, Neptune's, I got a cock spaniel. We on the run now, you know it ain't no fun now. And where I go, yo, niggas can't even come now. You ain't the law, nigga, break it. I don't care, but when you get caught, remember that. I don't care, in the RE, love throughout the atmosphere. I mean, now we on the run, yo, if that ain't clear. Weak niggas wanna snitch, yo, but that ain't fair. Yo, we down in Vegas, but these guys too courageous. I know I'm on the run, but still rip stages. They call me Animal Dog when I'm in cages. I used to move phrases, roll dice. With no aces Now I live secluded in the oasis Gotta take spaces No time for car races Check my sky, tell I got foul pages What?